he was punishing me. He, rat he rattled me to the point where I couldn't, um, it'd be live. Can people hear me? That's your volume. Check one, check one. Turn that on, so that's your volume, Perry. Turn it around to, like, I think with these microphones, just turn it a bit further. Can you, can you hear me, Perry? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we're live. We're live. Um, Hello, everyone. Can you hear each other? Yeah, I, well, I can hear Perry. He's a fucking dinner. Oh, are we allowed to swear early doors? Who cares? The CEO's here. Hello, everyone. Games live here from Riley's. I'm sat here with uh, Perry Chance after his uh, easy win last night against. Um what? Huh? 25 quid what? Me oh, and you. you. <laughs> Who'd you want? <laughs> Who'd you want? Who'd you want? Frank. Yeah, I'll give you 25, yeah. All right. So, first game, Frankie's breaking. We're live. So, so with uh, with Perry Chance after his game last night against uh, Dan Walker. Want to talk us through, through it, Perry? Uh, not really. No. No. Nice, right. nice, easy win for you, I saw. Uh, no. Uh, it was a it was a hard night's work. Hard to watch as well, wasn't it? At times. Harder to play, I think. Yeah. Hard to. I had a little comment on Facebook and seven, I saw it. Yeah, I seven, wasn't. Seven, didn't seven, appreciate it. Seven minutes for one shot is embarrassing. Jesus, man. That's. That's how long frames normally take. Sometimes you just got to make sure, player. Oh, give me the pot was over the middle back. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> they are the but ones that hurt the most. But anyway, big game here tonight. Six grand, nice. I'm going out with a winner. Whoever wins it, I'm not loyal. So. Uh, <laughs> got any money on it yourself? Hang on. Get out of the way. You got any oh, money on it? Just had an email there. Jose's job's not under threat. Uh, no, no, I haven't got involved tonight. I like both lads. Rob backed me when I lost the other week, so uh, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't back against or or either or. Um, if I'm honest, I've, I fancy Frankie in the game, but it's a money game. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. And it's an unusually long night ahead of us, I think. Yeah. First to first 25. 25. Yeah, it should just gone first to five and had done with it. <laughs> shot from Rob run out of a bit of position but he's put Frankie's ball save that puts puts three balls in, in bad positions for him early doors I mean uh, having played last night I uh, go out on a session afterwards Perry or <laughs> it finished too late didn't it it was, it was morning yeah. time by the time we got it done but it, what I found even though I won the first couple of frames but it's hard to get yourself motivated yeah in yeah. the first couple because there's no one here and the ap no atmosphere Ooh. really it's a bit unlucky that shot there. Yeah. So it's left open Frankie. Give Frankie a little chance early doors. So you always want a little sniff in the first frame. Yeah, you just want to get the first frame on the board. That's the only thing you think it's about. It's the hardest thing. Hardest thing. Hello. Yeah. <coughs> but with a big pot, you expect there's going to be. There's, there's, well, you would know you set it up, but there's a, a few. Back and say it's better. That's a reasonable crowd tonight. Yeah, it'd be uh, a few down there tonight. While. I think I think Rob will have a few. He normally gets a few come down from uh, from the Bracknell sides. So be, be good to see a few characters. See if the pie man's down here. It's a good shot from Rob. There's contained. Steady leave. Yeah, it's left Frankie on nothing. First shot, cut that red at the top of the back at the top of the table. Try and go into the one on the on the left hand on side. The left cushion down here, yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about Frankie. Frankie's got a good game. He's got a, a solid potting game, but he's also got a good tactical game as well. The only problem with him is if he gets too pissed. <laughs> I did ask him last night how many pints he was intending on having. Yeah, and he, he said did. just the eight. <laughs> just the yeah, eight. Just a small session. Small session. I had two Jager bombs last time match last night and I hit the, the door frame on the way out uh -huh. with my shoulder. He's got a well way out now. Done well there. It's not a bad total. That's the only shot he had on for me. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, he's Gavin Fulbrook. Yeah, one of Reading's worst. <laughs> After a few jars, I might try and tap him up for a money game. Hit a bite your hand off. Oh, I wish. the last one. Oh, all right, Perry. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, you won one game. 
<laughs> Anyone will think you were decent, you're pro. One and only. I won't be playing again. Oh, here we go. We've got Tony over here. Tony Sullivan? Tony Sullivan's joining us. Big name. You can house. hear, but you can't speak. Thank God for that. Uh, have we not got three mouthpieces? No, we don't want one. Jump in later. No, jump no, in later. Don't, don't feel like you need to, Tony. <laughs> don't, don't feel compelled. <laughs> don't, don't feel like you need to get involved with the older microphones. <laughs> I hope he's keeping an eye on us, apparently. <laughs> he's got a seasoned professional in myself, and he's got Perry Chance, who's just won a money match. So, uh. <coughs> Of course, Tony is uh, famously the last man to play Rob Moore's head. Well, he didn't just play him, did he? For money, he uh, took him apart quite quite convincingly. Yeah, I think Rob back so Rob's got a bit uh, of a point to prove tonight. I saw Rob, Rob on Facebook earlier saying about change of underpants. I think that was from the, uh, the game with Tony, to be fair. <laughs> He shit his pants. But, uh, uh, it was one of the, it was it was a, a strange one to watch. Yeah. That's come out right. Unless that red yellow goes to the bottom, I think it does. <coughs> we shall see. It's a bit expected, really, isn't it? It's yeah. A little bit first, early. first frame nerves. You, as you said, you want to get the first couple of frames on the board. Get your arm moving. Get get comfortable and get ex get involved. Dead straight on that. You don't want to be dead straight. I think you can drop this one in the middle first, can't you? Just yeah, I'd even look at that to be fair. It shows my pool knowledge. Just drop it in. Leave yourself where the white is, uh, where the yellow is, and you're. Yeah. It's that's one nil for me. It's quite it's quite hard to get perception of depth from here to see if he's got the full pocket to <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it flies in. <coughs> I thought we played that for the middle myself. Hmm. Solid start there from Rob. <coughs> Trying just needs to see his arm going. Fucking hell, Rob's got some rascal shoes on, hasn't he? Look at those. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Naughty little uh, caramel slip-ons. Oh, they're <laughs> horrid, man. They're horrid. Have we got another camera that we can get th those on? <laughs> he's wearing white socks as well. God, yes. Oh, he's had a mare. He's had one. Any, any Facebook questions that you, you want to ask the CEO and, uh, and Perry and fire across? So into frame two, Rob to break. Right, nice to see Rob's got his own little cue carrier over there. Um, <coughs> Michael. It's like a miniature Denzel Washington. <laughs> Couldn't think of a, little Denzel of a worse there. comparison there. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's got a little game, isn't he? With, um, uh, he's with your Bradley. man Brad, Brad yeah. O'Reilly. That'll be live on the stream as well. Yep. Should be nice. Ooh. I think it's more of like a an introduct introductory game for them too, just to never want to go uh, dry on a break. Rob has. He hasn't <coughs> learned to struggle with breaks for some of the games I've watched him. Yeah. And he yeah, he, I've seen he, that. he uh he openly says that himself. To be fair, it's the only shot I've got in my uh in my locker is my break. The rest of it is awful. Talking of awful, right Gav? <laughs> So there's uh. a big, big shot to start off with. Let's give him confidence. If he nails this, let's give him good confidence. Oh, he's nailed it. Great shot. Great shot to start. <coughs> so how do we see how many viewers we've got? Oh, should we be raking in thousands of people? Tony? I don't think uh, at 12 minutes past 6 we're going to be oh, at our optimum. No, we won't hit peak. Peak performance. We'll be looking for the 10 o'clock crowd, I think. Yeah, 10, 11 o'clock. I started on the beers early doors. had a couple of jars already, and I? So, uh, I started to come through in the commentary. Oh, yeah. We're, we'll be playing up later. I might have a little go on it tonight, actually. You might as well. Talking of having a go, Perry, should we talk about that? No, we won't. <laughs> Oh. Thin ice player. Wasn't one of your uh, best moves in life, was it? 
be a nice player. Nice shot. Yeah. <coughs> Plays a plant. It's just when you can get into this. What do you do here? The bottom ball. For me, you just. I think it's too far over to play it off you of it. Play percentages. It's big fucking hell. There's people coming in here in shirts and ties. Big, it's big, big occasion. There's a couple of rascals in here with black shoes and white socks. I don't understand that. What's wrong with these kids? Oh, Perry's wearing them as well. Kind of rascal pair of leopard skins. <laughs> You're out of this commentary box early doors, Perry, I can tell. I can, ad I can There's advise nothing you wrong now. with a pair of leopard skin fans. They're horrid, Perry. Well, they're not. Absolute fanny magnets, these are. I said <laughs> <laughs> so we won't talk about that, Perry. You won't talk about that, you mean? That's not a bad lead from Frank. <laughs> It's got one bad ball. <laughs> Taylor commentary is a lot better than uh, than Dan Davies last night with Luke Johnson. Oh. <laughs> I listened to quite a bit of it, but I, I thought they were quite good actually. I thought it quite funny. Luke Johnson. Luke Johnson's horrid. Oh, and then you get Priestley on there. He he sounded like he couldn't talk. Uh, I couldn't play pool, but he couldn't talk. I don't know uh, which one's worse. Tony, Tony Sullivan's just summed it up. He was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, never, never really seen him drunk. It was quite funny to listen to him. <clears throat> so it was quite funny. It was so quite funny to listen to the commentary that? about last night because uh, very, bi very biased. I thought the commentary, but, but, oh, but, yeah, but also but very respectful. But, I think. But do you know what, Perry? They're good mates, aren't yeah, they? So. That's what it is. Oh, he's been unlucky there. Do you know what? I think this, this, this two shots he's got here will give you an idea of how the game's going to go. In my opinion, I, I personally don't think it's clear. I'm, we'll not sure we'll, I'm not sure if we'll try. Why would you not want to try? How would you invent the first shot to to get both um, that red off the rail? Same I can't do it. <coughs> For me, I would have not played enough that. Well, that's not trying, is it? I would have moved the red by the, uh, the bottom yellow here. Yeah, but anything, if you move the red by the bottom yellow, you've still got that red on the far right hand side, which is not ideal. Yeah, one. but you nail, you nail those. You nail those at the top on this table. For, oh, it's gone. Uh, it's been the red, as Tony says, the reducer. God, if I had that in this commentary box today, so I want to get punched in the eye. <laughs> Fucking reducer. Get a grip, Tony. <laughs> sort your life out, man. So he is, uh, he's, he's uh, persistent with that phrase, yeah. Oh, he's it's catching on. He loves that. It's catching on around the uh, around the Prince of Wales area. That's not a bad leaf. <laughs> I think he's very fat. I, think, I, he, I, I uh, think he could just nail it to middle, to be I honest. I think he goes, yeah. So, uh. Had a little butchers. Doesn't need to do too much with a white. Just nice. let it roll through. I think it's quite a, a realistic chance to take him out. Yeah. <coughs> Frank here just downed half a bottle of Foster's. Who did? Frank just half, half a pint of Foster's, yeah, sing that in. Just to get the nerves down. Yeah. He said it's only his 11th. <coughs> Any requests from you on Facebook there, uh, uh No one's no one's asking for no you no just messages. yet. No. Oh. No, nor me either. himself a bit of a nah, he can leave himself in an area here though where he could land on both from can so just run it on and off the cushion follow it for a little bit hmm then all shoes are making a bit of a noise as you walk around as well fucking horrid man <laughs> caramel slip on he's yeah. left himself well there yeah, he's, he's on perfect, both yeah. he's on both that's a good shot 
Just a little gentle screw here on the one in the middle. Good night, Vienna. That's 2 0. Frankie needs to wake up. Uh, lucky I've just had it off on the football today. Yeah, you had a little win today, Perry, have you? Yeah, How just much? I've won uh, 500, 500 profit on one game. I went to uh, Maynard versus Bays and Stoke. And oh. back, back goals. 4 3 Maynard it was. You won over, over 4.5, Perry, did you? No, uh, I, I didn't do. What price was that? At, uh, uh, four to one out of hundred, and then uh, four to one that was. Yeah. Oof. Lower leagues, you never know what's going to happen there. Oh, not with those sort of standards. Chaos. And uh, people score from goal kicks in that sort of league. <laughs> no, I think it was less than that. It was an hour gone, and uh, rung David and, and lumped on uh, six and a half as well. Oof. So, won a few quid on that. And uh, Wigan last minute goal, one minute accumulator for hundred and fifty. So. It's two 0 It's two 0 Place is on fire. But Frank's about to relinquish me of 250. So, <laughs> if you don't. How much did you have on yourself last night against uh, Mr. Walker? Uh, well, I gave out about 350. Peter was back for about 350, just out of loyalty, really, just giving people 50. So, how much did you have on yourself? 750. 650. Yeah. 650. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Long way to go in this game yet. But as you said, you want to get your first one on the board early doors. If yeah. you can get the first frame on, it puts you in such a good position. What's that time? <laughs> Don't know, but it's fucking late, so it's Jesus. Lord have mercy. <sighs> it's not the worst break. It's not the worst leave, no, actually. It's just not. That's got a that yellow over the middle. Yellow's a safe, yeah. yeah. Clearances on what? The clearances yes. on reds. Nah. Tony Sullivan thinks he's playing on the PlayStation. Tony Tony Sullivan thinks he's Dan Davy that didn't know. <laughs> he's trying to draw graphics on the laptop. We're not quite there no, yet. No. I don't Got to get himself on the one in the middle. Uh, this, is this is difficult to dig in now to, hmm. to get back. But Tony Tony still likes it. Yeah. No, he doesn't like it now. He's changed his mind. <coughs> Would you just drop it in now, Tony? Great Good shot. shot. Good pot. That's a big shot. Just come back for it later. I know it's early in the game, but this is a massive shot. Uh, the more you slip behind, the more you're <laughs> thankful it's first to 25. Yeah. Yeah, if it's first to 16, you go 3 4 nil behind. you got yeah. it's a mountain. Well, I was 13-9 I was down last night, and I was regretting that we had said first to 16. <laughs> He'll take that. Yeah. No, of course you will. He didn't. He didn't play it, but it was definitely taken. It. <coughs> yeah. Oh, you were on frame one last night at this point. Tony, Tony, cheap shot of Sullivan there. Just said Morzad has got more frames on the board than he did in the whole match last time. Oh wow! The first two hours, yeah. So he's had a little pop there. Oh. It's not nice. Let people move on, Tony. Um, Frank just needs to compose a himself a little bit. Yeah. The plant never went in a million years. <coughs> One thing about Rob, he, uh, he doesn't miss many simple balls. No. Nah. He keeps he himself quite composed yeah. as well, apart he from when he played Tony. Well, yeah, he he, runs, out, he runs out of position slightly yeah. here and there, as we all do, but actual potting balls, you, you fancy him. I expect him to finish these. Just, uh, if you can take the middle middle of the three reds to the far right pocket. <coughs> uh, I'd probably play the one on the left. What now? You're cutting it back in? Yeah. Uh, just come behind. The thing is, you're running into the yellow on the way back. No, so you, well, just from sitting here, it looks like you miss the yellow, but... Left himself the, the plant. plant. That can go wrong. Mm. <coughs> confident, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's confident we can play it. 
Yeah, you right should know so. that as well. That's free now. Is he dead straight? Yeah. Just screw back over towards the middle. I don't see it being too take much of a drama. The take the black in the bottom, bottom left. Yeah, I don't see it being too much of a problem. Unless you're over square. It's oh. not on it. That's a, <coughs> it's a big shot. Big shot here. Yeah, he's, he Rob's annoyed with himself because he's he's now given Frank a chance to get his first frame on the board. I did it yesterday too, and up. I felt like I left my took my foot off the gas a little bit and gave him an easy route in. Got my first whoosh tonight. Oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> I thought, oh, made a bit of a mistake there. So Walker started getting excited when Dan Malone turned up. Yeah, he was a good supporter. Was was Malone? He was uh, I could hear him. Yeah, so I could could I, and I was at home. <laughs> Yeah, he's missed it. It's like Frank's chance, isn't it? Oh. To be Frank fair. Could, Frank could have done with that sneaking behind, to be fair. To be fair, Rob hit that quite thick and it went too far away, so it definitely went. Yeah, now the yellow goes in this bottom back as well. <coughs> it's tight. He's got to be looking at... Ah, it flies in. He's got to be looking again to the top of the table and yeah. playing a little snooker. A snooker that disrupts those two yellows as yeah. well, just to... That's a good shot. That's just rolling this forever. Is in. Oh wow. my gosh. That just rolled forever. I thought I was stopping about four foot away. Yeah. Never looked like I could reach there. So we need a little safety here from Frank. Rob, uh, Rob grimaced quite badly there, so. Yeah, he was a bit upset. It's probably but a positive for Frank that that's happened. If <laughs> we could get, still go ahead and win this round. It's a great yeah, shot. Load of snooker there. No. Easy, easy get out though. Easy get out. <coughs> um, yeah, just it's up and down. If you play it perfect, it's off two. You, you leave a little snooker as mm. well. What he doesn't want to do is leave it too near the yellow. Is he hit hard enough? Yeah, he missed he's it. He's gonna slip by it. Slip by it. Yeah. That's Paul. I really am unsure about this yellow. I know we're right behind it, but it's not. Is this yellow just slipping past the black. That's Paul. I'd have, I'd have fucking hammered that. Yeah, just let it fly around the table, man. Have a little go. By the way, I look at these. It, it's got two balls that are just sat next to each other. Yeah, so you've got a little bit of insurance there, anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit. Dad, this place ain't rocking yet, is it? Oh. Some more enjoyment at a funeral. <laughs> yeah, oh, Tony there. It's a half six whacking, on Saturday. whacking the one by the black, screwing into the two. Here we go. That's, that's why Tony will never be trusted. That's why you'd never back Tony Sullivan. <laughs> to be fair, I had, a, I had too much run on Tony and his, uh, his famous demolition. Yeah, it was. So that was, uh, I, was, I was grateful for that. Um, that's Paul. <coughs> what about this for a shot? The red thing just about a hit. Off two cushions to go into the two. Yeah, he's had a little go at it, really. That's not a bad, bad lever, bounce. I'll take that. Yeah, you take that. Total. Yeah. Commentator slash ref now as well. Slash CEO. Big name and I. Big name. CEO of what? The uh, promotions CEO, company. Player ball promotions. Is that a natural thing, is it? Or well, is it just Facebook banner? That's where big names come and want to play ball. Fair enough. You'll get invited soon to uh, Perry after you win. Oh, I'm done, mate, to be honest. <coughs> are you retired, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never really involved, but. He's gone in. That's in. Oh, how's it look? Nah, it was a, just a one-time thing. Walker called me out, and that was. Oh, he called you out. No respect. <laughs> no respect, Walker. Gavin, just a 
doing a bit of input in it. Yeah, I don't know why. It's going to north. Uh, oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, I don't know why. <coughs> Rob's uh, going to be freeing him up without doing much. Hmm. Not having to do much. Yeah, so it's a good position to be in. Uh, I don't like this shot. Tony, just saying, I don't think he wins this frame. It's not easy. It's Tony on drugs. Does Tony smoke weed? You just gotta run off that black fin at the half ball, yeah, just to What? With the two shots just use the black. Uh it depends how confident you are. Well I'm not confident. Yeah, that's straight sure enough. He's obviously Demore. done the right thing. Demore's Ez button over there. He's obviously had a little bit of money on his brother. The cash man. Cash man. Who broke first? How many, how many, uh, how many backers is uh, Frank's side made up of then, roughly? Do you know, what? I'm not sure. To be fair, uh, he's had a couple of big, big bets. Um, one notably a 500. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> But apart from that, I think it's just, yeah, your odd hundreds, two hundreds, floating about. Frankie desperately needs his first frame on the board. Desperately. Goes for a cut break. Oh. Cut, the cut break hasn't, hasn't helped him. Well, was, I was feeling yesterday, no matter what the actual score is, if you win the frame, you always feel the favourite in the next. Oh, of course you do. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So it's, uh, that's the way I look at it. Now, so. Reds it. Uh, All day. Yeah. One in the middle. One at the top. One in the middle. I think that red doubles as leave, well. Leave yourself a nice little double to finish off, just for the fans. Or uh, we'll go on it now. I would. I would, <coughs> I would have probably uh, probably played the double then after this shot, just to. Yeah. Yeah. No clearance from Frank it'd be massive for him. Hmm. Great shot. He's, uh, He's been a bit unlucky there, to be fair. He's hitting him with almost frustration already, though. That was a bit of a yeah, yeah. You don't want to be doing that pace. early doors. A bit you of don't a wild want to be pace. Doing that early doors. <coughs> it just it just boosts the confidence of the player you're playing. Yeah, that's, it, that's not a bad shot. He sorted himself out there. He's a bit unlucky with a cue in there. Yeah. He's very experienced, Frank, so I don't... <laughs> Although he might get wound up early doors, I think he'll, he'll settle in if he wins the first one, his first one. I think he'll reel a couple off in a row. Oh, hello, who's that? It's Perry. Dan Walker. Oh, what's he want? Uh, just give it a big whoosh. Let me know how Frank's doing. Why does he want to whoosh? He's been battered. He didn't get bad. He's oh, he's been battered. He done well. In front of all his pals. Hardly. He uh, just had a, I think he's had a couple grand wins today. Oh, on what? Uh, he was lumping on uh, New Zealand throughout the tournament for rugby. Oh, okay. They've just won, so fair play. Oh, okay, he's probably won his money back he lost last night. And a few, uh, and a fair bit more, I think. So he's happy. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> It's all, it's all there. <coughs> Play the bottom one, flick the red onto the bottom cushion. We'll be playing this one. No need to touch it. Unless you're going over the bag. Yeah, which is done. And he hasn't. Well, he has done, yeah. Just, uh. Morris is, uh, just bubbling away. I've had, I've, had, I've had 20 quid for a laugh on, uh. 
Preston. Preston Bolton nil nil. My bad. Tony, Tony Grover's had a little bit on that. What nil nil? Ah, it's in the middle, isn't it? Oh, oh. Uh, no. Tony's had a hundred and eighty-seven pound on a Preston win. Uh, evens. He's, he's he's made that mistake on Cardiff on Monday as well. <laughs> and that was nil nil. Sammy Abbey missing oh, from Cardiff. Yard. Cardiff awful. Horrid side. They're ready to get the point in the end today. Yeah, they won. They drew one all. Yeah. Mateus Vidra. Uh, that's the benefit of that shot. Does the yellow go past that red, red in the middle? Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. But that leaves him on. That leaves yeah, the top. The red. Kind of, uh, the red card's at the top there. He had the game there for me. Yeah. yeah if he lays it down to the top, the only pocket that that red went into... Apart from the bottom one down there on the right hand side. But the only ball pocket that one went into was the uh the way it's a big shot. And uh, so over overduced it. it. Hasn't come out too great. It's not desperate, no, it's but <coughs> chance again. Hmm. That's oh. what you don't want to keep doing though, keep giving people chances in money matches. Uh that was too aggressive for me. Didn't need didn't, didn't need to, need to, do to do it. It. No. just drop it in. Off and leave yourself the, the yellow, the other yellow into the middle. Yellow flies at the top, other corner, bottom pocket. Good night, Vienna. From from Rob's point of view, it's gone it's a good. Spoiling, shot. No, it's not. It's yeah, not a shot. Yeah, it's unlucky. Yeah. No, it's not even unlucky. It's just a shot you didn't need to take. Could have worked, worked better, though. Uh, but you don't need to go aggressive. But from Rob's point of view, it's hard to know how to play it when you're 3-0 up. It's yeah. Do you put him, try and put him to the sword and yeah, I agree. take everything on? or do you, not let him, do you not let him back in easy? You said this, Perry. We've got 24 people viewing. What, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. 24. 24 blokes. That haven't got girlfriends. <laughs> you and us play pool. Uh, Rob's missus is probably watching as well. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mrs. Morzed. Um, Good evening. Yeah. 24. That's big. It's because they knew I was on the commentary box. Yeah. They knew. Oh, what's he looking at? He's, re he's yellow, he's not reds. Yeah, no one knew I was going to be commentating, so. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. You wrote me in just to, just to keep the viewers here. It's probably a benefit. <sighs> so. And then you've got Tony Sullivan sat next to us with Gavin. Is Gavin yeah. a drug dealer? Uh, Gavin I'm is... I'm looking at that mobile phone now. I've, uh, I've known a few drug dealers have that. Uh, this is big now because... This is a big shot. If he gets it, it's game. If he doesn't... He's got, if it, he's got a bit of a pace. Yeah, he's got to play it away the weather. Who's this idiot that's just texted me? 467. Who's this? What the Who's fuck do you this? know about clearing up? Have they never seen me eat? <laughs> I clear up plates all day long. <laughs> if they don't tell me who they are, I'm going to put their mobile number online. <laughs> well, they're obviously listening to this, aren't they? So. Well, yeah. It's one of the 24 idiots. <laughs> Whoever you are, make yourself <coughs> known. Otherwise, player with great shot. That's, it, no, That's a brilliant shot. This is a brilliant shot. This is big now. Who is this? They're typing back. Look, oh, it's Mick McConnell. I'm very disappointed he's not down here. Good evening, Mick. Part of the 24 Club. You coming down, big boy? We could do with a few, uh, few scoops. Oh, he's just looked me. He's just looked me in the eye. And shit his pants. Shit his pants. He's nailed it. Oh, first little table punch. 4-0. Is that 4-0? It's, it's a big start. I think Frank would have given him a four start. But then now he just does. Yeah, he's just a nice guy. <laughs> just a nice guy. <laughs> oh, Steve Hood's one of the big 24. Tuning in just for the commentary. Big 24, good evening, Steve. Yeah, He got battered by Rob. See what I mean? You've got to go nasty. You have to go nasty and just bring up people's past. And 
Wow, you just got to look at their last games. My last game was appalling. Jesus, Stevie. Well, in fact, Gavin Fulbrook, who sat with us, would have probably beat me, to be fair. I was that bad. So that's a little hello from Steve. It's quite funny. It's a you massive smash. It's me a massive smash. Me, me and you have got headphones and, and uh, microphones so we can hear and speak. Tony's yeah. only got headphones so he can just hear. And alongside on this four cue table is Gavin, uh, Gavin with there. nothing who it, it's been like Chinese whispered down the line. Yeah. And Gavin's just bugging Tony to see what we're saying. I even like, we're not being nasty. I told him he was a prick before he even got in the commentary. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not being nasty. He is anyway. But Why don't you fuck yourself, Gavin? Let's see, that's what you expect from him. Horrible character. Sorry, sorry. Sorry to the 24 that are watching. Surely that's increased by now. Ga anyway. Gavin's just angered me. <laughs> surely that, surely that 24's gone up. Uh, no, nah, it's probably about 21 now. We've probably had people tune off. We've lost Mick and Steve. <laughs> yeah, no, Steve's still on here. He's... Oh yeah, Pew Roberts. Yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like Tony, listening. Tony's just uh, brought the Pew Roberts game up. He's give player no, a way in to talk about it now, and no, here we go. We, listen, we don't need to talk about it. I battered <laughs> an England player. <laughs> I didn't just beat him, Tony. I battered him. That made me a hundred pound as well. I'm getting quite good at this. Yeah, pool listen, gambling. I'm a nice lad. Thank you very much. I'm glad I made you money. I'll get you a drink but in a minute. Yeah, thanks. I love a uh, treble, JD, and Coke. Well, but won't. on a serious <laughs> note, Pew Roberts wanted to go, to go again. And he still, he still does. <coughs> yeah, but he's got to understand. It's on my terms. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what it's, that's a true story, isn't it, Tony? It's like if, can, yeah, you please not can you please not talk shit when i got a mouthful of oh, drink? No, no, of course it is. It's on my terms. I play when I want to play him. After I battered him, England player, this guy oh, was terrible. And I was ill. I was ill. Can you believe it? So I had to, he's blocked me on Facebook. Deleted me, blocked me, won't accept my messages. And he, he keeps he keeps telling people I'm playing for five hundred. It's just, it's just a waste of time. What is your terms then? Let's get out of the way well, so we don't have to listen, talk about it again tonight. Let's, let's go to twenty one for two grand a man. I think grand a two man. grand a man. He's an England player. You should be able to, you should be able to get that against me. I'm awful. Uh yeah. No, it's a true story, aren't yeah. I? I batter you, Perry, but I'm awful. Well, no, I would, Perry. It's a true story. Well, I'll go to random man if you want. And oh, then Perry, I'd, it'd be, do you know what would be the silliest thing you'd ever done in your and life? Then with, with your winnings, and, you, and you're free rolling against P. Robert. There it is. It's, nah, it's recorded now. Can't even spell, let alone hold a Q. Yeah, you're right, Steve Hood. You can't. Good change of subject there from player. Uh, what's that? Sorry. Oh, Sorry, right Perry. <laughs> it's a big shot. It is. Come on, let's, let's concentrate on this game. That is good. That's a good shot. Now, where does he want a white to be? Is he going to try not and travel not down the table? Not where it is now. Yeah, he either, either brings the white all the way down the table or tries to bring the white back across. He's got to punch it through. He's punched it through well. Kiss. Oh, he's, he's landed perfectly, I think. Oh, he's played it a dream. He's played it a well, dream. I think he needs a little bit of a, a little bit of swerve. Swerve Oh, he's in. Yeah, he's in. He's in. He's in. Frank. There we go. Then. Here he goes. Here we go. Here's a fist it? pump. He Here's the first fist pump from Frankie tonight. He's given Here the, we go. He's Here given we the go. more Z punch, but he shit himself at actually punching it. Darren table. Mayweather player calls the shots. See, Steve Wood knows. Steve Wood's a very... He went to university. He's a very knowledgeable man. Is that Steve yeah. sarcastic hood? Uh, no, he's a, he's a knowledgeable lad. Fair enough. So if, if you've got any questions that you'd like to chuck forward to uh, the CEO, please visit... Uh, Player pool promotions on Facebook, or just drop me a, a little message, and uh, I'm happy to give out shout outs is as well. Is there a Berkshire Pool Facebook page? Uh, there probably is. I've got my own, it's probably got more members because <laughs> I'm a big name. Uh, no, true story. Is this, is this going to be the theme of the night? Oh, uh, no, it's not all about me. That's a good break. Do you want to go red? Yellow's though. Well, yeah, it's hard to. Yellow's all day. I'm not seeing him taking these out, to be honest. Yeah, that should be 5 1. But <coughs> Frank won't get himself upset about nah, this. Nah, no, he can't. He'd just be happy to have a Frank. He can't do anything if a man breaks dishes. That 4 0 down, he would have taken 5 1. He'd have probably taken 4 2. There we go, we've got a message here. I keep cutting out. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. 
This isn't a very professional setup. I'm not used to working under these uh, poor conditions. That's his, that's his internet at home. Oh, that's your internet at home, I've just been told, mate. So, so broadband bill. Uh, no, he's, he's in a caravan, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's just. He's, he's there with the rest of the trailer park trash. That's what happens when you live in Whitley, Mick. You're pikey. Well, I live in Whitley, to be fair, so that's where I'm going to stop laughing. Mm, yeah. So, Mick, if you can just wire your caravan up. Um, <laughs> or just change your Wi Fi from uh, pikey to EE. Do you he's stolen somebody else's Wi Fi? That uh, wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. He's, he's one of those tight bastards. He's never bought a drink in his life. Oh, he drinks soda, per- lemonade, and lime. It's getting personal now. Oh, no, don't worry about that. Oh. One good shot here. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's, it's all about the pot, isn't it? I sped in the pot. <coughs> yeah, he's nailed it. Still can't go over those shoes. They're fucking rascal. What, those shoes? Yeah. No, Tony's right there. It's not a... It is when you know it like that. Look at this, people. People are buzzing over here. So, uh, so far, so far, to my knowledge, Rob has missed nothing. No, no, he's part of everything. Good missing, start from missed Rob. nothing. If only had done this against Tony, so he would have been beaten 21, mm. 15. <laughs> would have given him something to think about. Tony, Tony, Tony it? Yeah, why are you here? I wouldn't have missed. The rematch? Is it? Is it on? Rematch. I think it's on at midnight after this. You want to play him tonight after a few jars? Tony does not care. No respect. What the viewers at home don't know is Tony's favourite catchphrase is two pound a man. Yeah. And that's what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> does does Gavin Fulbrook fancy a little game? No, stop picking on Gavin. He's retired. What he meant to say was retarded. <laughs> Relentless. I want him from I'll tell you what there Frankie's, you Frankie's Frank. put. <coughs> He's put a good 20 stone behind that. There's a chance now for Frank. If he can reply with a little dish. Yeah. Gavin says you're having a rematch with Mikey Oh, he's gone back. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I've got, I shouldn't. I've got I have to, I have to actually I relay every, everything I that shouldn't. Tony says. I have to say, I, I Tony, need to say it. Tony, I shouldn't, but I probably will. Tony said, uh, <laughs> Gavin said. This is what I mean. Tony said that Gavin said. Yeah, I know. What are we getting at here? Tony said that Gavin said, with, are you going to have, with Gavin, have with a Gavin's replay or a rematch with... Michael Hewitt to which Gavin is sniggering about now Ooh, he's got to get into this <coughs> I don't know Gavin's sniggering I battered him I'd, I'd, I'd offered Gavin a sick start and he shits his pants that was at Newbury that day wasn't it oh no no Good shot for oh, Frank. Yeah, Frank's pulled this back a little bit. That seems to be a nice reply. There we go. Just needs to leave himself a decent angle. Uh, probably not that decent. What you do here? Pop this and then try and use <coughs> that yellow on the cushion as a stopper? Uh, Cut into the middle and use the yellow? Or are you just going to screw it into something? Get out. Oh, that's a bit unlucky to be fair. But it's still not easy from here. I know no. he's got the two, but it's got two balls that he would like to de- listen, develop. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of time left in this game. But <coughs> if, this, if this was a first of 16 game, though. Oh, you'd have Robert's massive favourite. There'd be alarm bells, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I felt like a bit of a, a bit of an obvious leg because it was me that insisted on a shorter game. And I was the one who found myself behind. And I was kicking yeah. myself. Who's this kicking off on it? Oh no, they're getting a Smirnoff ice. <laughs> what a joke. Three for five pound. You got no, you got a man. No. He's got a pint and a Smirnoff ice in his no, hand. No, he's got a Smirnoff ice on And a shirt on. Fair enough. Oh, what a disgrace. His mum must be so proud. Shot from Rob. 
A man of ice. Never had a man of ice myself. You've had one, Tony, have you? Yeah, Dreadful drink, Gordon Tony. Saturday drinking Fosters. I'm pacing myself. Pacing yourself tonight. Free an hour. County tomorrow, Tony, have you? Or uh, yeah, I have, yeah. County, who you got? <coughs> a couple of Cronenbergs in Henley earlier on. Oh, he's in Henley. Yeah. What are you doing in Henley? In the Angel on the River. Nice day. I don't know, I don't know why you felt oh, the need to oh, name oh, drop oh, the oh, fact oh, you was oh, in oh, Henley. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's a big shot. It's a big shot. I know it's early in the game. This is fucking massive. This is uh. Oh, you're in the Albion? This is, oh, a less than, in there. this is a less than a 50% shot for me. No. Cue in from there. When, when I played I Richard Pugh Roberts, I had one like this. Did you put it? Like that? Oh, I was going to say like that, but I nailed it. <sighs> I he think he's got away that slightly. Well, I'd rather no. be on the black than the yellows. That depends how this first shot goes, doesn't it? Because if he, if he just no, drops this in, not. he's fine. Yeah, see? It's right middle. Yeah, sort of. Bottom right. Six one. Left middle. Six one. The one thing we've learnt from all these games is there, there's always swings. So. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, and there's so much time left in this game. It's unbelievable. I still think it's going to be finished before last night. Yeah, well, it's not hard. Playing 19 minutes of frame. Yes. Yeah, that's first mistake from Rob for that's me. Ball. That's uh, yeah, so much room, room, <coughs> room for manoeuvre there. Yeah, but he's not a world so champion. He's going to uh, make mistakes. They both are. So. Well, not with six foot on the table. You should be making mistakes there. You got six foot to play with. Yeah, I agree. That's Gavin Fulbrook. You think? Yeah, he was guaranteed to put it there, but. <laughs> As a Gavin shot. Tony's chucked out there. Tony's chucked out there as a Gavin shot. What are you looking at? Gavin says he's in Gavin said that the yellow is going in the green pocket. Oh, that's a bit cool. It's a, it's a bit cool. Uh, no, it's not Gavin. It's not going in anywhere. The black's going in this pocket. Frankie, nice and smooth. That's a gift to a frame there for Frank. Yeah, but that's... That's you know a gift to be great for love. But but do you know what? Uh, there'll yeah. be about 17 more Tony, turning points from here. Tony's just said that. Early doors. That could be a turning point. Early yes, doors. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie. What's he said? Who? I don't know. Frank's had a little, uh, a little shout out. So. Yeah. Rob's head's going. It's all, it's all kicking off. It's, it's all, kick 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 all starting to live it up a little bit. Is, is it 7 o'clock? 18.51. What's that, mate? Yeah, have a coat, please, mate. No ice. Fine cuisine. No, just well done. No. So we're back here with uh, half time nil nil Preston Bowl. Nil nil. Yeah, nil -nil. Ten Perry. What was, what was oh. the odds? Four to one? Sevens. Sevens. I don't have a score on it, but. Uh, yeah. Been a, nice, been a nice little tickle when I'm watching this. Horrible break that was. Did you get stuck into New Zealand at 11 to 10? I didn't, mate. I'm not a big rugby New fan. New Zealand were 11 to 10. A couple of weeks ago. Ah, Tony, oh, Tony yes. fuck me, you're going back to 1992. We're, we're talking about gambling here, Tony, not long term investments. This is the sort of frame that could uh, could suit Frank. Here we go, Steve Hood. That's a game changer. Frank comes back now. I don't understand why you're going to sit at home and watch this all night. Well, it's because oh, no, it's, it's there for oh, some people that can. It's because I'm on the stream, you prick. But uh, get down here, get down and support What's the club. It? Have a few jars. A couple of good. Uh, Deals on drinks down here. Tony, Tony just had a pop in there because I didn't go down to Maynard to watch his game. <laughs> yeah, um, but don't have been funny. Tony's an as awful as bloke. As I said to Rob uh, when I was commentating on a game with Rob not long ago. That was my game. Was it your game? Yeah, yeah when I got battered. I had to put a uh, an IKEA bit of furniture together, and uh, <laughs> in the time it took me to do it, you had already beat him. It was only a chest of drawers. It was two two sets of chest of drawers, and uh, I made money on him. So thanks for that. Once again. 
Mm, that was aggressive. Uh, it's very. <coughs> he's. We've we've seen it with from Rob before in a few matches where he's one decided. So yeah. it, his uh, his bottle can't be questioned, but yeah. his temperament does come in and out of the frame, <coughs> and in and out of the game, he just lose it and seem to get well, it back. Yeah, we, we saw that when he played Tony. It was mental. Well, with Tony, he lost it and it stayed lost. But yeah, but it was mad. He started when he won a frame. He was punching the camera and all sorts. <laughs> Tony's just called himself big a name. big name. You're not even a big name in your fucking bed set, you prick. I've never heard a I've never heard a big name say two pound a frame, two pound a frame. Yeah, exactly, not bad. <laughs> what giving, what, giving us two, two quid? quid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking didn't know. The <laughs> <laughs> player you asking for a two head start to seven for two quid apparently. Brian. He didn't ask me for a game. I'd batter him. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I won't get beat by a fucking idiot like Tony Sullivan. Jesus. I'll take a two to seven, though, Tony. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's what Perry takes. That's what Perry does. He's mugging Perry off, and he's sat right next to him. To be fair, in in a, in a couple of years I've known Tony, uh, he's never taken a penny off me. So there's a, there's a little stat for everyone at home. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell, I'll tell you a little story here, player. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, um, story just maker, Tony. Fucking story just, maker. Just while, uh, just while Tony sat here. Yeah. I think he had a few pints, but that's a, that's just any day, isn't it, really? And uh, I walked in here, and he said, £5 a frame? And I said, nah, you're right, mate. Find some new mates. And uh, he said, come on, £5 a frame. I'll give you... F how many shots? Five. No, it's five. I'll give you f the break and four more shots every frame. What? He had you muggy cunt. He had, I played eight frames, took 40 quid off him. He had one shot in eight frames and he carried on. He wouldn't stop. And you stop. carried on playing? He wouldn't stop. So does, does that not tell you, Tony, you've got an issue? So, uh, do you know what? You can't knock his pool playing ability, but he's got no brains. Oh, God, if he had a brain, he'd be fucking <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so, uh, hell. If you wouldn't mind piping down, Tony, that'd be yeah. great. You've won one money match, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Gets nasty, <laughs> It's <laughs> a great nice shot. shot. Yeah, good shot. A little bit of composure it's back with Frank, yeah, but yeah, but you know that's what. The way I look at it, if he gets this back, he's five three down. He should he should be seven one down. Yeah. <coughs> As Steve Wood said, changes games. Shots like that change games. AJ needs to kick him off the stream. He's on about you, Perry. He said you're a disgrace. No, he didn't. Oh, Tony's off to the bar. I wonder if he's getting the beers in. Yeah, well, here we go, here we go. Here we go. You gonna ask anyone a question, Tony, or on your way to the bar? Are you asking anyone a question on your way to the bar? Yeah, I'm getting Frank a beer. Oh, he's getting Frank a beer. Well, steady on, mate. You've got to consult me on that, because I've got a few quid here. I think the backers should decide how much Frank drinks. Nice little finish, yes. How much you got on Frank? <coughs> Not as much as me. Secretive. That's nice. Nice shot. Just stun it in. Two pound. Tony got two pound on Frank. Let's <laughs> <laughs> give, give Rob a four shot start. <laughs> so Rob gets the chance to clear after every frame. Uh, Fucking didn't know. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. That's better. He's composed now. This is where he'll start getting in. Made it look easy. Nice shot. Yeah, good finish, Frank. Yes, Frankie. It's made it look easy, that. That's it, mate. Get back in. Where's the cheeseburger? Have a chip for them. Where's the cheeseburger? Frank, please. Cheers, mate. You didn't pay for it. I ain't paid. I'm buying one. What is it? Foster's. Silly question there, Tony. What does Frank want to drink? Fuck me. It's not a fish. You know, I'm a straight Foster's. What's up? No. Saturday, the Christmas break starts. We 
Yes, yes Frankie. Frankie. Oh, look. Carl, Carl Nunn's here with Carly, who's just turned up. Sure, he'll be getting the jars in for me. Big chance here for Frank. He's going to take this ball near the back first. Just to fully commit. Oh, a little touch, eh? We dr we drove we drove we found a fucking Euro star. It was more than the fucking holiday itself. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Fucking junk. Yeah. We drove. It took three hours. Is that total? Oh, he's taking red. Touching both balls. Uh, if you can't get out, it's a re rack, isn't it? I think that's. Is that a re-rack? If there's no legal shot to be played, then it would be a If you physically can't get out of it. Carl Nunn stepping in here, the IPA man. The IPA man here. Yeah. He knows Just at the right time, right on cue. This could be a re-rack. No, you don't see that very often in the game, Perry. You don't. Frank would be a little bit annoyed with that because he lands, yeah. lands anywhere else and he should finish him. He's, yeah, he leaves himself perfect. He's laughing. But he's, he's been a bit unlucky there, but you just take on the chin. But going back to the game, if he wins this, that's 5 4. It was like you game back on. <laughs> at one point, he was in big, big trouble. A five, a four, five, four, one down. He was in big trouble. And as I said, these money matches swing. Rob's got a lot of people turn up. Oh, here's Kevin Bassett. Oh, I'll have a top with you, Tony. Top. Yeah. I've got one, thank you, mate. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. You know, he's bought the beers in. The tightest. Have you won a couple of two pound a man games, have you? Yeah, he just he just beat himself. <laughs> 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 Fucking did low. Yellow's it is then. For Frank here. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Gav just said the only you're the only bloke he knows that yeah. someone buys you a drink and you call him a dinner. Yeah, but I, can only, I can only agree actually. Yeah, but fair. he was sat here with us ten minutes ago before he said I'm going to the bar. He didn't ask me then. He walked to the bar, ordered a drink, and then come back about half an hour later. Yeah, he just reconsidered. Well, he didn't drink, he? Yeah, he's fair play to him. He is a fucking din like though. Oh, I don't like so this. How many viewers have we got here then? I don't like this. Go straight across. Didn't like that. So he was using too much control to yeah. commit to that too soon. But it puts it to Rob, which is what I like. Yeah. We've still got 23 viewers. We're losing people here. What is going on? Hang on, they're a couple of minutes behind us, huh? I'm looking at the stream. <coughs> Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> bit surprised by that. That's a massive pocket now, isn't it? That's massive. That's a bit like uh, a young lady I know, a Leah. <coughs> Won't say anything else. Perry hasn't clicked on to what I just said, which is nice. Because it'd be fuming if he did. He's left. He's left everything on for Frankie here. Perry, 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 are you with us? I'm back. So I just had a. That's all on. Just that's that's on. Just had Gav bending me here. Oh God, was he on a money match? Uh, he's asked me how I did it last night. Uh, he potted all the balls. He's got a big chance here. A big chance to get the black out. Yeah, it's natural, isn't it? A bit like me when I play <laughs> natural. <laughs> Gav, Gav trying to set me up with him next game as well. Ooh, sort of You've sort of got to make break. sure the pot. You've got to make sure the pot. That's criminal. He's got away with it. He's got away with it. No? I've played Rob a couple of times already for money. 
Well, my lost one, so yeah. <coughs> Who was a good game, guys? Yeah, same night, me and you. I'll give you a start. I'm not the best player. I'm not even the best player in my house. But I'll give you a start. Go on, Gav. Why don't you shut him up once and for all? He's beat me. He's beat me before. He's beat me before. Why don't you shut him up once and for all? Next year. Why don't you get a cut of Gavin, backers? Gavin, there you go. Gavin said, next year, him and Darren Player. Play four quid pot. Two pound a man. Two pound a tape. <laughs> Two pound a game. <laughs> I ain't letting you the six quid either. Tired, tired bastard. Right, I'll be honest, lads. I need a piss. You might, you might get, uh, you might get Gav jumping in your grave here. Yeah? Uh, they'll be straight out of it. Little update from Walker. There, he's looking for the score. Walker's, I've talked Walker into investing on this as well. Into what? Investing on Frank. How much is he had of your money? No, not mine. Oh, he had some with you, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, he had a little look. Um. Yeah. I need to piss. I'll be back. I'll save you seat. Let's see what Frank might be playing there. Oh, I'll just flick the red on the way in there. I'm not sure if that red now passes the yellow in the bottom right hand corner. Gavin Fulbright's just there uh, joining us in the commentary box. Just a wind up player if nothing else. Good evening Gavin. Good evening. So Gavin, uh, give us a little bit of insight into your thought into this game so far. Stage fright. <laughs> Gavin's got stage fright. Shit his pants. <laughs> He's put the headset on. He's opened his mouth, but the words just wouldn't come out. Brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> You'll be hearing about that on County on Sunday. Rob, if he kisses that, yeah, uh, just... I'll tell you what, he wasn't... I don't think he was playing for that, but I think he's come out okay. Gavin Fulbright reckons he will draw this, so that's why he didn't commentate. Because he just knows everything about Fulbright. Yes, bro. Right. He's nailed it. Six three. Couple of gifts from each other there. Put the headset back on. Uh, Gavin's asked for the headset back and me not to mention that he's taken it. Gavin, just grow a set of balls and uh, have a little chat with the fans. I've never done the commentary before. It's a bit nervous. Gavin's nervous. He's he's uh, he choked once, player. Yeah, uh, he put the headset on and he Players said, "I can't do it. Now. I can't do it." And now he's back. <laughs> He's grown a set now he's back. Right, Gavin, now give us your insight into this match so far. Give us your words of wisdom from what you've seen so far. Well, I think Frank had a really good start. <laughs> it's gone. You can't work you can't work with these sort of idiots. <laughs> did, did he say Frank had a really good start? <laughs> But did it, no, serious question. Did he say he had a really good start? <laughs> oh, he did, yeah. He went, he went 4 0 down. I don't know, but that's not a good start. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. 
Fucking hell. Some mothers do have them. You've never earned your own voice. No, you sir. You're not missing much. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. That's made my night. What a start to the night this is. What, what do you think of Gabba? Eight minutes past seven and Gabba's made the night. What do you think of Frank's start? Yeah, I thought you had a good start. <laughs> yeah. I think Frank. Bad start. You, had, you had a good start at 5 0 down. <laughs> you fucking turd burglar. Oh, it's gone for a safety break. That's in. Nah, oh, that's not as well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's, uh, he's 12 0 down, but he's flying. <laughs> Fuck off. What a fucking turd. That's terrible. Can you imagine the good lord lets people like that breed? <coughs> shot Frank. That's a good start. Good shot to get him off and running. <coughs> Frank attack the next couple of frames. I think it puts Rob under serious pressure early doors as well, Perry. Doesn't do. If, if he can mop, he's going to take, take the next one. Well, he's never been in front, has he, Frank? In the match so far. No, apart from a really good start, yeah. Yeah, fucking he had a blinder. <laughs> Five nil down. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no. You get married soon, Gavin, haven't you? Congratulations to. No, it's not, I was just saying. Gavin, on it seems to be on it. Are we invited, Gavin? Or no, we haven't been invited. Team? Don't, issue, don't tell lies. Some people are still getting invited. People are still getting Some people invited. get invited and he's giving me the wink there, so. Yeah, that tells me I ain't invited. That's nice, isn't it? All years. Too abusive. Too abusive. Oh, you don't listen. I've, all, I've only ever been nice to you. control shot there from Frank. Wait, when is it? It's soon, isn't it? Two weeks. Two weeks. That'll be nice. Today. Congratulations to Mrs. Uh, Fulbrook to be and Gavin. He's, she's a very lucky lady to have such an intelligent husband. <laughs> <laughs> to have such an intelligent husband, he said. See? Yeah. Kind of just insulted yourself there, Gav. Yeah, he he just, uh, see, I was being nice. Yeah, he, he was saying I can't be nice. I was being nice. He was trying to get himself on the on the invite list. On the guest list, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Where is it? I'll Where is it? I'll be there. Oh, well, player, don't mind a follow on there. Yeah. Listen, I'll be there. I'll tag along with anyone. Don't mind a follow on a couple of breadsticks. Uh, do you know? I'll, I'll be honest. I'm serious, mate. Though. I'm that's a good shot. That's, that's a wonderful shot. That's lovely. That's yeah. wonderful. I'm well, serious, now. I'm upset that I'm not invited. After uh, these years I've known you, you haven't invited me. The last time I've been in, in a room with you two, well, the last ten times. Oh yeah, he wanted to fight. He kicked off, didn't he? he yeah, upset him. you have upset him every single time. To be fair. Yeah, it's probably best I don't come. Just run away a little bit there with a white, it's a bit further than you imagine. <coughs> uh, yeah. Just gonna tickle it in. Leave yourself a shot. So in this game oh, oh that is class a little bit of class Ooh. That's that's, that, that black just rocked on the spot there yeah this uh, the problem is and it's a bit disappointing they need to recover this table this is a big shot he's nailed it great shot great shot Frankie great shot that's the that's the Frankie child we know that's the Frankie child we know here we go here comes my cheeseburger and chips better not be any salad in there I'll kick off Cheers, buddy. Cheers, mate. Thanks. You got any salad in there? Uh, yeah, I wanted some salad. No, I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll wind the poor lad up. Uh, chips well done. They look cremated. Oh. So, decent back. start. Decent start to the match, in my opinion. Been, been <coughs> the standard's been decent. Not great. Yeah. Better than last night. The standard's been... I can't, been I can't agree with that. I cannot agree. What? I thought the standard was really good last night. Did for you watch what for what I was expected. Did you watch your game back? I actually did. Fuck me, it's like watching two Stevie Wonders. I don't, think, I don't think you could have lived no, with was, either was, me or Dan last uh, night. No, I'd have battered you both. Not for me. You could not handle the pressure. He's been, uh, he's been working on the break, Frank Chard. True story, that is. Been working with uh, Daniel Davey, who's uh, renowned worldwide for his... Uh, Fantastic break of probably no balls. Stop being horrible. He gave me advice in my game, my money match, Dan Davy, about my break. Yeah. Did you yeah. follow it? Yeah, I did, yeah, and did I lost the game, I got battered. Well, that was the reason, was it? Yeah. Oh, so it's all, it's all my backers that. there, it was Dan Davy's fault. On the, uh, on the advice of Pew Roberts, 
he told me to get on Michael. Did he? Yeah, but I didn't. I, I bet he didn't say back him, uh, get on himself, did he, when I battered him? Did he say get on? Michael Hewitt. But uh, I thought, nah, you can't, you can't make money off off a bloke and then. Listen, Perry, it's one of the. Uh, and then uh, go against him. There's money to be him. made. There's money to be made. They're only smallish games anyway, aren't they? They're friendly. Nothing big. It can go all the way, mate, I think. Hello, nice to be here. Now joined by Tony Sullivan in the commentary box. He's Hello, it's lovely to be here. What's player on a munch break, is he? He's got a munch break. He's, uh, he's got a burger and chips break scheduled once every four frames. Fucking hell, he's fat enough, isn't he? Jesus Christ. He should be giving up burgers, not having any more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No wonder he loses money matches, he's carrying all that weight. <laughs> Tony has uh, made his way to the commentary option and has uh, took no prisoners. He's gone straight for the juggler, for Darren. Darren gives it out, he's got to take it. Simple as that. <coughs> anyway, back to the game. Back to the game and uh, Rob's got a chance here to, just to maintain that lead. Yeah. It looks pretty good on red. Oh, that's a handy nudge. Nice little flick, but uh, drop it in dead weight in the green pocket. The other one in the middle, and it's happy days. That's perfect. You can top top that through. The white will go towards that yellow in the middle of the table, and just have the black in the middle. Be lovely, wouldn't it? I was thinking he's going to take the black uh, yeah, down the bottom. Yeah. Oh, he could hold it. That's, yeah. that's perfect. So that's 7-4 then. What, what's your views on this match, Perry? Have you have you decided who's going to win yet, or it's early days? Yeah, I'm pretty biased. We've got money on one of them, and I? But, uh, yeah. It could go all the way. <laughs> it could go either way as well. It's just, it's just on, on the night thing, isn't it, again? Yeah, you had a close one last night. You were behind, weren't you? And you come back nicely. Yeah, 39 down. And to be honest, I uh, I almost gave up at that point. Did not, you? Not literally, but I gave up on trying to play a match and just started going for shots and thankfully it came off. So, Yeah, I, I certainly saw it when you started going for shots. You were pulling them off. It was a good comeback. Very good. So, how many we got in at the moment? We got in about 20. Hopefully by about 9, 10 o'clock we'll have a few more. Just playing musical beers. Just move all the beers about on the table. Player's still stuffing his face, is he? Yeah. Okay. Is that the same burger you had? <coughs> I'm sure he's at that twice. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, unlucky there from Rob. Kicks in the middle. Yeah, it was a pretty good split and straight in the middle. Chance of Frank. If he just plays the. He just puts the white on the far right hand side there and just uh, plays the plant of the yellow. Red onto the yellow. Red onto the yellow, yeah. just over the over the pocket and Yeah, freeze the yellow and then all the yellows look good. You don't think you don't think he misses from there really? No, it should be alright. It's feeling a bit nervous though, I think. That's to be expected for six grand on the table. Yeah, that there's a little bit of a not nastiness, but it's been it's no. been it's been billed as something that Something that probably isn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and bags at ten paces, I think, is the word. So I think there's a phrase that that adds to it. Hmm. Because they both not only that hasn't worked out great. Not only do they not want to get beat, but they want to get beat by each other even less. Yeah, that's true. So I think yellow in the middle, and then maybe a little angle just to, just to come into this red here. Just oh, he's oh. forgot to put it, and unfortunately, all the yellows are now on. Oh, he's going to take this far left yellow into the bottom pocket, and I think he, I think he's naturally going to be going into the red on the cushion. It just depends how that comes out. Yeah, he'll probably leave himself the plant into the other corner. I attempted to play at a pace and just try and bring the white back out. Gavin's just informed me that the bird behind the bar is fair. You could have. So that's fair enough. Um, <laughs> well, you've just put that on tape now, and he's getting married in a couple of weeks. So 
Well on time. It's okay, you're allowed to look, just don't touch. Gavin's getting divorced. You're fine you're fine looking, just don't touch. He's I'm sure he's devoted to his uh, fiance in small doses. <laughs> and now Rob's starting to get away again. If he wins this one, that'll be a uh, four frame gap again. Hello, what has happened here? We've had a little spillage with the stream, have we? Still recording? Okay. Still live? Yeah, we're fine. We're back in play. Now then, what has he done here? I think he's tried to come up for the one in the middle and just hasn't gone far enough. Yeah, he can stun the far one in and land the white on the blue spot. It's got a big margin for error. Yeah, massive margin for error. On this cloth, you don't even have to hit it hard. You just sort of stun it in and the white will just ping ping off the cushion and leave it in the middle. In other news, hour gone. Preston Bolton, nil nil. Hello. That's he's close. No, close he's, in the middle. he's lost the white. Oh, can you believe ah, that? That's unbelievable. Can you believe that? But now depending on how straight this is. Looks pretty straight. He's got to dig this down, which isn't easy. No, I think he's going to leave the black into the bottom right and just... Yeah, that's fair. About as, best, about as good as he could get. Mm. Oh, what's the first miss black? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He will not be happy about that. Just seemed to snatch it a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> Darren just said something there that probably for a first time made sense. Why did he hit it so hard? Yeah, exactly. There's no need. Just dropped it in. <coughs> so here we go. He's going to come off the back cushion and out for the fluke. Oh but yeah. unfortunately he hasn't even found the back cushion. He's played the red half ball. And now... Oh, he's got away, away with it. He's got away with that big time. He's put tied up the bottom two. He's put one on the side cushion. There's another one on the side cushion. This is far from over. I pick the white up and uh, send one of the reds into the other reds on the left side and hope that one of them kicks into the other two as well. Just one, one yeah. mighty slash. Yeah. The only advantage he's got is the black doesn't go in this bottom left. So that's the only advantage. I reckon it squeezes. No. No, it doesn't go in the bottom left, but Frank's got three problems and two shots. What'd you do here then? Did you put the black safe? Well, attend to a problem with another snooker. He looks as though he's gonna. He's gonna send it into the two reds gently and hopefully. Well, the black's still covered, so it's not bad. Now he can develop one of his hard ones. No, he's going to just give him the little reducer behind the back. Ooh. It's the first time Tony's got the word reducer in. Yeah, I love that word. Probably not the last. Yeah, it's a great word. And there's two shots. So Frank was cheering that ball in. He was. Yeah, for those of you tuning in not familiar with the word reducer, <laughs> it basically He's means... you the history of reducer. It, <laughs> it basically the means... The very brief history of reducer. The brief history, yeah, it means a safety or a snooker. It just basically reducing the other person to nothing. It's not just a safety or snooker, is it? It's a... It's, it's something it's that just reduces... A nothing, just a nothing shot. Yeah, exactly. Still not ideal though, is he? Still a lot of work to do, I would say. 
And look at that, players finished off the burger in record time. Yeah, it's, uh Is he going to order another one? A well, player was moaning about Walker taking seven minutes to take a shot yesterday and he's just proved how long seven minutes is by uh, polishing off a burger in less time. Frank's just knocked the red there of his cue. Mm. Give him two shots. Yeah, and unfortunately that's cost him the brain. Not quite sure why he's walking around the table giving it all that <laughs> when he's got a roll in, but whatever floats your boat. Eight four. Fist pump more Z. Eight four. Wow. Frank looked as though he's getting back into it at five three and now it's eight four. So how's your bet getting on Perry? Preston what? Nil nil did you bet? Oh, I did no goal scorer. Mm. Is that way if it's an own goal? Yeah, if it's an own goal you get paid out. Same odds. Idiotic's back nil nil. There's a little yes. all out there. Yeah, so it's good. If you've learnt nothing about Paul, you've learnt never back nil nil. Exactly, because you've got no goal scorer. Same price. And it won't hurt you until it's one nil with an own goal. And you think, I could have won that. Yeah, it has happened as well. Just saying uh, Lumps on uh, lumps on Maidenhead Basingstoke over four and a half goals today. Beautiful. And it was four three. Yeah, beautiful. Local knowledge. Did you know that was going to be high scoring, or was that just a punt? Uh, I was going. I just went to the game, so it's good to good to watch. Good to watch. Goals flying. They're talking of own goals and correct scores. I did a bet once, I think it was Stoke against Southampton, I did a first goal scorer and there was two own goals and then my scorer scored. That's a winner. It was absolutely brilliant. That is a winner. And at the bar we've got Dave Graham just walked in with Alessandro Alex Savaya. Oh, hello. Is that touching ball? I think it is and he wanted to just... Mm. Just a little rush of blood there. Just mm. He wanted to be on the... No. Oh, does it? He can see it. He can. Can he? He can. He definitely can. And he has. Now then, he can run this through four or five inches and have the other yellow in the middle. Well, I'm not sure why, he's, why has he stunned that. Why has he not run that through four or five inches at it in the middle? If he's going to stun it, I think he just needs to do it better than that and come further across because now he's left himself hampered. Yeah. He's going to be cutting one into the pocket. He's going to have to play on and off the cushion. And he's yeah, going to have to play at the right pace as well or he's going to be left with the same shot again. This is very difficult. Very difficult shot. He's miles away. Yeah, he's miles away. So here's Frankel. Could be two, no. Just died on him. But here's Frankel. And a chance. Yeah, the problem is the one by the black... Does it not go in the bottom right mm. once we look at it? going to be taking that to left middle probably, or left top. Yeah, the rest are okay, but yeah, it will go left middle. It might go bottom right. It might, it might go bottom right, yeah. It might think be it an is. illusion. Still striking him in confidently, Frank, is he? Uh, he is, but he's not enjoyed that one so much. He's a little bit hampered. I'm always scared to play him at post myself. Mm. Wow, I just played that well. Hopefully that goes first first one goes through the gap. He's got to be thinking about the one by the black at some stage. Little nudge into the black here. I don't no, think he'd bother. Don't need it, no. I don't think he'd bother. It it must pass it must pass into the bottom right. That's what I'm guessing. There you go, there you go. It flies in the bottom right. He's got three tap ins for game. Even the black goes in the right middle. Does it? You're right behind that. Yeah, I'm right behind it, it does. Out too well. 
That's dead straight. I'm right behind that. That's dead straight. Now it doesn't go in this bottom left, so. Screw you back to the same pocket. Yeah. Or up top. No, you can it's not too bad because he can get his hand on the table, so. so. He's literally screwed it back to where he was, and wow. now he's even more hampered. That is a pressure black. Not quite sure how Frank missed the red day. That was a shocker. Thing is, if you play, if you play in the uh, play in the black in the middle, the white's going to be going on the left hand side of the table, so it's going to be hard for Frank to clear if he. It's a great effort. It's unlucky, but he's played it. He's played the white well. Yeah, the white was always heading that way. So. And yeah, yeah, the red's potable, but can he trust the table and roll into the bottom one? I trusted the table a couple of times yesterday, and it it paid off. Well, he's playing the top one. I'm just giving him well, it's, is that, it's not bad. Is that a reducer? Is that what you call that a reducer? It's a f it's a mid Set reducer, a yeah, semi, semi reducer. reducer. Yeah, he's got a bit of a semi on there. Ah, you're getting gay now, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I think my volume level's pretty high there, mate. Nah, that's what it should be. Apparently. Is it? Yeah. Nice one. I don't want to be blasting the viewers at home. All two of them. We had a call of shot from the crowd. It, looked it, it did it look in the whole way, to be fair. It wasn't in. That's and why the players no good at pull, you see. <laughs> yeah, I can only agree, but... Oh, I'll smash you to pieces, Tony, you see you NT. Smart shot there from Frank. Yeah. Now that is a reducer. He's reduced Rob to a fluke. Never been embarrassed to go for these. He's pointing his cue as to where he's going <laughs> to fluke it. I don't even justify it with that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he was pointing the cue to where he wanted the white to go. It's not the worst shot in the world. Yeah, that's a good shot, really. Yeah, it? this is risky. If one, bit, one bit of advice a friend was giving me last night when I was down is just make him earn it, don't give him nothing. Can yeah. And that's exactly what he's making Frank do now. Problem is, if Frank misses his cut, he's going to leave the black. In the middle. I don't think he's going for the cut, surely. He is. He's, he's got it. How's your look? He's nailed it. Oh, that's unlucky. It's very unlucky. It's a nice pot. Just another couple of inches to the right, and it would have been absolute certainty. Why'd you leave the white here then? You think try a little snooker behind yeah, it? Yeah, it's risky though. He hasn't got it over. He's not got it. Oh, you. Yeah, this goes, but it's very tricky. Very, very tricky from the cushion. Even that, or you just play a little cross double and leave the white. Then, mm. yeah, or if you fully commit. Because if you do commit. You commit, the white should come across back the other way. Well, it depends on how I do it. There you go, he's committed and he left the white right as well. Good job. Oh, there you go, 9 4. It's getting away from Frank again. Is that the biggest margin? That's the biggest margin yet, isn't it? Five frames? It uh, was 4 0. Yeah, it was 4 0. I think they're having a little break, which means we're going to have a little break. So are we. Are we back soon? Yeah, see you soon.
Okay, we're back. We're back live. Sorry about the break. They both thought they were going to have a half an hour break. But so, 9-4 to Rob. He's got away again. Long way to go. Long, Long way, way to, to go. go. Just a quick update on the uh, Preston Bolton game. Uh, still nil nil, 87 minutes. <sighs> Perry's sweating. There's like three minutes to go plus injury time. He's he's got nil nil. Well, no goal scorer, same thing. He's sweating buckets about this match. So, uh, just trying to get my state money back for this, or <laughs> most of it. Preston Bolton, the highlight of the Saturday night. Forget the Rugby World Cup final. This is the highlight of the night. Preston Bolton. Funnily enough, I said exactly those words to somebody today. <laughs> It is when you have a bet. It's the most important thing in the world. doesn't matter what else is going on in the world. Someone said to me, why are you watching uh, the Rugby World Cup final? And I said, I won't be because it's Preston Bolton. Exactly. Anyway, back to uh, more Preston Mounts. Yeah. And uh, they've split quite well again. This is important for Frankie. He needs to win this session like 6-3, 6-2 really needs to get a move on now. Problem is these reds look really nice. It's gonna well, drop out of thirteen frames, Rob's he's only he's only given away one, isn't he? Yeah. So he's just he's just playing well. Yeah, he's got some nice splits though. This these reds are lovely. Just plant this gently. And it's, uh, like it's hard to it's, it's hard, hard to say that he doesn't deserve where he's at. Oh, exactly. You can't deny someone a bit of run. And he hasn't had much run. He's played quite well. When he played me, he didn't have much run at all. So, swings and roundabouts. I'm not overly keen on that shot, but he's got, he's got away with it. And now, if he just stuns this down the middle of the table... Yeah, he's got quite a good angle there. Yeah, it's great. Just avoid the yellow, go across the blue spot, and it's good night, Vienna. Eighty-nine minutes. One minute plus injury time. Perry's praying that there was no long, <laughs> long delays for injuries. I've had four bets today. Three of them have come in. One of them's been an accumulator, and <coughs> uh, the one that lost was Chelsea half-time, full-time. <laughs> That was a bit annoying because uh, the first goal went in over the added time. Jesus. Did you Lost. see Grover won a bet the other day and he, some team scored, was it Mansfield scored in 90, 90th minute plus 10? 100th minute, yeah. Unfucking believable. That's Grover's luck, isn't that's it? Just, that's knowledge for me. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, he's done his research, yeah. <laughs> they don't stop, Mansfield. He's screwing his ticket up in the 90th minute. Nah, he knew it was coming. 10 minutes later, he's cleaned up. I only want to accumulate because we're wicking the last minute. And here we go. 7 4. I run out. This is unmissable. There's not even enough. Uh, was this off the break, was it, Perry? Breaking dish, was it? It is, mate, yeah. So the old BAD. The old bad. bad. It's the never old been a thing. It's not going to catch That one's not going to catch on. I can confirm what, that. The old bad. The BADs. So there we go, Frank really needs to uh, win this frame, focus now, get Same back four. to, well, it'd be happy with 15, 12, 15, 13. Yeah, so the race to, race to 25, it's, yeah. it's not over. Uh, I just got a text message from Dan Walker, uh, he's, oh asked, yeah. he's asked for a shout out, uh, he? he's now listening to the stream. Has he asked for a rematch? Now nah, we won't be rematch. Just ask for a shout out. Just ask for a shout out. Just a friendly yeah. shout out. That's fair enough. He took it quite well from what I could see on Facebook, which is good to see. Yeah, it was always it was always going to be the case. Yeah, he's good. Good. Either good way, it was going to be the case. Yeah, he's good geezer, Dan. Yeah, had a couple of uh, practices with him up here before your match, but yeah, he's good. Good. Good guy. I know why players. I know why players disappeared. No, he's still here. It's his round, isn't it? <laughs> that's, why he's, that's why he's pissed off. <laughs> Don't be going off to play pool, Daz. It's, I was just telling the viewers, it's your round. <laughs> and here we go. Uh, 90 plus one. Preston Bolton, nil-nil. 
Oh, back no goals. Perry's, Perry's sweating on his nil nil. It's the 91st minute now. He's got nil nil. It's nil nil at 91 minutes. Darren players just give it a shout. I want to see someone get a penalty. That's why no one likes him. That is 100% why no one likes him. He's evil. And people tell me he doesn't actually mean it, but I think he does. Ah, oh, he's a prick. <laughs> Absolute prick. If that is a penalty now, I'm chinning him. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, and I'll, put, I'll put that on record. Yeah, he said if there's a penalty now, he's going to chin you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, that's, that's on record there. Yeah? Oh, man of my word. You've done well. Now joined by Harley Hall. He's got the uh, he's got headphones, headphones with no mic. Yeah, he can hear us, but he can't he can't speak. But yeah, it's good to see you, mate. Is that the case? So many Welsh people singing, and nobody from England was actually allowed to. Welsh people like to sing. Is that the case? Little tight one now. The, the free flame frame seems to be going against Frank at the moment, so maybe he just needs a yeah. a little battle with. Yeah. Just try and come out on top. That's right. He's settled for that. Yeah. No, I think he played it to be fair. So. Mm. Yeah, he needs to start winning these tight frames. <laughs> Harley's thinking of drinking beer. <laughs> ah, my beer's arrived. Cheers, Dazza. Nice one, mate. Excellent. I've had a. There's a world first. Players bought me a beer. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a great bloke all of a sudden. Oh, he's, now he's a great bloke. Oh, he was an arsehole five minutes ago. Now he's a great bloke. Right, he's still an arsehole. <laughs> to buy you a keg of beer, he's still an arsehole. <laughs> Frank's put the old shoulder into oh, it. I can take that. Yeah. It's a great little duck. I think Rob would be squeezing the yellow through there straight away and getting the red out of it. This is getting silly now. It's 90 plus 4. Oh. What more has a man got to do? Are they still playing? They're still playing. This is uh, unbearable. Surely it's only going to be five minutes of injury time. He's got nil nil Preston Bolton, and it's ninety plus four minutes, and it's nil nil. Come on, go on a goal. See, so yeah, Harley's gone the Darren Player route there. Come on, the goal. Yeah, that's why no one. Well, that's why no one's liking him at the moment. You could be the next Darren Player the way you're heading. You could be like getting yeah. gobby and sulky and giving it all that. Is this on the stream? Yeah, it's on the stream. This is on record. But it's on record. People can watch this back. He's a great lad, but he's heading the wrong way. Oh, full time. We've got a full time over here on this phone. We're full time, are we? We're full time over here. What, Perry? one nil? Nil nil. And there we go. And, Perry. That's, and that's knowledge, folks. Ah, oh, Perry. He's loving it. People. What price was that? Seven to one? That's only seven. So you get one. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty, 20, 20 at seven. Twenty at seven. So that's a ton sixty. A ton sixty. So that's uh, sixty. That's got your stake money back. One fifty. He's having a good no weekend. Good. He got a grand off. 700, 700 up for Grand on the football. Walker. Yeah. 700 up on the football. He's buzzing. He had a big bet on Maiden at Basingstoke, wasn't it? Huge bet, and it was well worth it. What did you bet White or? Loads of goals he bet, and it finished 4-3 or something. They got beat in the end. Hello. Turn my volume down. Yeah. Well, you So it's all about this one yellow stuck on the red. And the black's not a gimme either, but um, these reds are in good position for snooker in if Rob doesn't clear up. 
Oh, oh dear. He definitely went for that. Oh, yeah, he did go for the pot. He's grimacing. Hmm. Frank's just got to get his composure back a bit. I think he's a little bit nervous. And he has been drinking a fair bit as well. Normally it doesn't affect him though. Yeah, I mean, it was always going to be a tight game, but I plump, I plump for Frank because uh, I think natural ability-wise, Frank. But it depends. I went off the basis that if uh, if Rob offered me a money game, I've got no reason to say no. I think it'd be a good game. Mm. If Frank offered me a money game, I would, at the very least, think twice. So just yeah. on, on that basis, I yeah, yeah, you've got to weigh it up on your own basis that's right it's a bit unlucky there really these games are all on the night there's a lot of players that are all much of a muchness to be honest well if they wasn't then they wouldn't be playing each other if, there was, if there's a clear favourite all the time yeah I think really in the Reading area <coughs> it's only it's only Davy who's sort of head and shoulders above over a long game, over a long distance, it's only Davy that's head and shoulders above, and then the rest. I mean, Priestley's a good player, and John Joe, and people like that. But apart from that, apart from Davy, over a long distance, it's all all going to be a good game. But all much of a muchness. That is, uh, well, he's lucky to keep the white out there. And I think he's got the snooker on the ball that's over the pocket. Yeah, I'm right does behind. That, does I'm it right go? Yeah, I'm right behind this yellow by the black spot, and I think it just sneaks in. But the problem is. Yeah, I think it does sneak in. It's very tight, though. Because well, yeah. if, it, if it does go, he just runs it off the cushion. He's on the, yeah. on the ball next to it. But he's thinking, I'd rather be right behind it rather than the white on the cushion. But I tell you what, when you've got a six-frame lead, these are the shots you can go for. If he can't go for this with a six-frame lead, you play it dead weight because it'll cover the, you know, it'll cover the black if you play it dead weight. True. Yeah, yes. He has, and oh, he, I think he just played to cover it. He there did, yeah, he did play the part, but unfortunately the black goes. He's fucked that really, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, yeah. It did go direct, but Frank can dig in here and just screw the white into the middle of the table. Hmm. And that's the shot, but he can even play the one into the green pocket and just on this cloth just screw back a couple of feet, but. He's over. He's overcooked it slightly. Yeah, that's the thing. This cloth is so responsive. It's a real match cloth. It's a great table. It's like um, an IPA table. Can you cut this in the middle? I think it'd be he's playing a double. He's playing a double. He's nowhere near. He's got, he's got the, the treble, though. No, he hasn't. Oh. So here we go. Just a little half ball stun shot. Land right on the cushion behind the black. Somewhere just short of the middle pocket. He's gone to split it now. He's got lucky there. For me, this shot is more difficult. Well, it is more difficult than just rolling it in from where it was. Yeah, but why didn't he just half ball stun it and have the hard black along the rails? It, it wasn't hard. It was no. That's what I'm saying. Six inches away from the pocket. It was a lot easier than this. I think it's more difficult on the um, screen at home than it. We're right behind this yeah. black, and it is. It's not just because of the trajectory of the camera, but yeah. I think he should get this. This is one of the ones if you clip the if you clip the near jaw, it don't go in. Exactly. I think he gets this seven out of ten though. Probably more, but he's given himself a chance to miss. Yeah, he has, but it's probably a lot easier when you're ten four up than ten four behind. There you go. There you go. He's nailed it. Mm -hmm.
So, level four. And a five frame gap at the break has just turned into a seven frame gap. Yeah. Just one over screw shot there from Frank. And he's. Whether he went about the right way or not, he's been punished. Yeah. I think I would have took the one in the green bag. On this cloth, you could have brought it back a couple of feet. You've only got to stun them. And they come back so fast. But anyway, hindsight's easy. It's easy from the commentary box. Just, I just think it's been a solid performance so far from Rob. Yeah, it has been pretty solid. Now here's a chance for Frank. He's got to get back into it. It's got to be uh, reds all day long. Need two frames in a row <coughs> just to stamp yourself back on it. Yeah, because Rob... There's a long way to go. Rob's not even halfway there yet because for some reason they've tried to make it to 25. So there's a lot of pull to be played, but the alarm bells are ringing and now Frank needs to just make sure now. There we go. These reds look quite nice. So just bring this white back about two inches to have the other one in the yellow bag. Just leave yourself, leave yourself a bit of an angle. Don't be straight. Hmm. Yeah, he's, a, he's a good player with these kind of shots. Yeah, but has he brought the middle pocket in off in, into this equation? I think he wants to play the, the left and red into the right middle anyway. Yeah, but the in off was. Uh, listen to Tony Perry. The in off was. Uh, unfortunately, was there. Brought it into Blaine, didn't he? Yeah, I saw it straight away, but unfortunately. He played it with topspin, so you couldn't avoid it. Sometimes with those shots, you know it's close, but you're just hoping. <laughs> yeah, you just hope you're going to hit the draw. Catch but a knuckle, yeah. So, with these two yellows then. He's actually going to play the. He playing the playing he's playing the free ball. You plant the yellow by the red. There you go. Onto the other ones. How's your luck? The greatest shot ever, to be honest. The yellow's gone safe on the bottom rail. Mm. That's his only problem, though. Yeah. Just, just gently uh, roll this one into the bottom left. And the angle is to be on the other one to the bottom left. There we go. So, this is going to be a real test. Not this shot, but the next shot. It's going to be a real test along the rails. It's the last thing that can go wrong. Still early days though, the atmosphere hasn't built to a head yet, it will do later on. Ah uh, no, you see that's not a good, well, what he's going to do is just drop it in. Yeah, if he's got the middle bag there anyway. You've got so. the middle bag. The thing with that middle bag is though, you can't just drop it in the middle because you'll land behind the red. You've almost got to just stun this in. Because hmm. you don't want a white following through. Mm. Well, yeah, now, cause now, now we can roll the one through to the left middle and leave, yeah. leave the white on the left hand cushion. Yeah. If you just roll the white through about three or four inches, then you'll have the other one into the yellow bag. This could, this should be happy days. This is hard to watch at the moment, from, from Frank's point of view. Yeah, Rob's, Rob's uh, actually playing quite well tonight. He looks confident as well, but that's when you get a lead, you are confident. Well, at the moment, the game's it's taking a shape where you can't see it changing either mm. something needs to change and yeah I thought the break might change it but it's got worse do you think he's playing do you think Rob's playing slightly better yeah he seems quite focused tonight he's not he's not feeling so much under pressure he got off to a good start and that takes the nerves away. So he's playing confident shots like that. Now this is perfect now because you can just drop this in natural angle and the black goes in the right middle. <coughs> Ain't got to do nothing with the white here, just roll it in natural angle. And 
the black is just easy in the right middle. And there you go. 12 4. Yeah, 12 4. Uh, Barcelona just scored one of the best goals we've ever seen. And it's Suarez, is it? It is indeed. There you go. What a little touch that was. Can't keep Suarez away from the goals too long. He's absolutely different class, isn't he? I've had a bet with Carl Nunn. If anyone's interested in my next bet, uh, I've gone, it's not looking great, but I've gone five goals or more in the Barca game. 30 quid at 10 to 3. Mm. Carl Nunn's tried to go one better and go for six goals, but that's idiotic for me. A six is pushing it, but. Five's pushing it at this point. You never know. Once, the oh. once you get the first goal, the floodgates could open last. Great touch. Who was that set him up? That was a great touch. A little bit. Here we go, this little touch here. Who was that? Yeah, he's very composed and he's Suarez. He's different class. So this is a must win frame now for Frank. Rob's just about halfway Come on, there. Frank, let's get into this. Even Rob just to make more of a game of it. Yeah, we want we want the punters at home to be here at two in the morning no, with don't. it. Of it going 24 all. We don't want that, that's for sure. He's found a ball. And. Hmm. There's a, a chance. There's a chance. Yeah. He's got to find an opener. I'm not sure if he can get through to the uh, bottom one left. Don't think so. He'd rather be yellows, wouldn't you? But he can't find the opener. Oh, he's going for one, isn't he? Yeah, he's going for it now. Frankly, he's out with a washing at the moment. He's gone. Yeah, it's open table. It's a lot of pool to be played, but Frank needs a little breather here. Yeah, he's getting a little bit frustrated. Yeah, he's feeling a little bit hot and a little bit under pressure. Maybe the beer's kicking in as well, but he's definitely missing balls by further than he normally does. And Rob's just feeding off that. He loves it. Because what's happening is, even when Rob's missing the odd one, which he isn't missing many, he's not getting put under pressure. Frank's not being clinical. So the crowd's starting to build up a bit. We've got about 20 around the table and there's a few people coming in. What are we, 8 o'clock? Yeah, so the crowd should build up now. Hopefully the match will get a bit closer later on and we can have a good atmosphere, start buzzing. Hopefully we'll get, hopefully we'll get close. A bit like last night's game, that got very close. Could come back by Perry last night. He was out with a washing at 13.9 and then suddenly started potting balls off the clouds. <laughs> yeah. He's probably forced it before he needed to there, but he's he can afford that luxury at 12.4 up. Yeah, that's it. You can be the aggressor at 12.4 because you know, you know, you've got a nice little lead. When he played me, he was 12-4 down, and he knows he can't play silly shots, but it's a, it's a big thing, having a lead. It makes you more confident. Yeah, the worry, now he's now got to eight frames, the difference. Mm. It's got to the stage where Frank playing well isn't really going to be good enough now. You need Rob to step off the pace a bit. Yeah. It's, it's a big but swing needed. At some stage, Frank's going to sort of, come alive surely he's just going to say well, well I'd like to think so 
he's going to say well it's not going well at the moment I might as well just relax a bit and go for it could you do with a it's not my thing at all but could you do with a 20 minute frame yeah it can be difficult being miles in front and then you know I mean 12-4 it's a funny old score I don't think you're old enough, Perry, but when Steve Davis played Jimmy White in the 1984 final, he was 12-4 up, and Jimmy White come back, and it only ended up 18-16 to Davis. It was a great final, but Frank just needs a spark. I can't remember that one. Um, no, I I'm, a di I'm a dinosaur. I was, I was born in 1989. So yeah, exactly. I was. I'm a, I was I must have missed that one. I'm a dinosaur, but yeah, Davis, Jimmy White... Higgins, those are the golden era of snooker. Ronnie's a good player, obviously. But so if Frank can uh, knock these two balls in. Yeah, I'm not quite sure he's doing it. Oh, he's just playing the waiting game because Rob's got that ball up there. But but he's like, he could get he could get Rob in serious trouble with a snooker. Yeah, up down the, top the bottom. Right, top right end of the table. Yeah. So I would have been keen to, to pop those couple of balls, or at least this ball now, go up there and I get him tight, get him tight as you can. Yeah, I'd put it now. And do you know what I play after it? I play the free ball plant after it. He's right, on. exactly now. Play the free ball plant, cover the bag. If it goes in, play the reducer. You could play the snooker in a way where you send that red halfway down the, the side cushion as well, just to leave that safe. And really take a bit of control in the frame. Definitely. Some of the old faces coming in as well. Look, there's Neil Cummins just come in. Very, very good player. Kev Bassett is sat here next to Lee Morzed. Great player, Kev, from the old star days. Terrific player. And, uh, yeah, people are starting to roll up now. Welford's here and he's shit. <laughs> but, uh, so <laughs> yeah, there's a few good players uh, coming. We won 10 we won ten one the other night, Welford. It, um, Perry, it was 10 Welford. So he can't hear me. He's, he's only three yards away, but he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> any consequence for that <laughs> oh yeah he had to pay two quid for losing the frame a pound for all his fouls we're, we're building up a curry fund for Christmas we've got 100 quid in there already and we've only been playing four weeks <laughs> it's, it's two pound if you lose a frame it's a pound of foul it's what else is it oh it's who's that for uh, starfish yeah we've we got Walker and not Walker you've got uh, Frankie Welford and uh, who else who else is there um, got quite a good side actually uh, Simon Tuff has been playing yeah, paying quite a few fines. Oh, was he? Yeah, he's been a bit what sketchy. Fouls and... Surely not loss of frames. He's lost three out of four. Three out of four? He won one at Purley the other night, so yeah, three at, um yeah, yeah, he's two out of four, yeah. Even the big names, look. Yeah, he's a big name, Simon. He hasn't been practising much. He's a good player when he practises, Simon. Very good player. Davey, there's oh. a m miserable start to the season for Dan Davey. Six out of six. Hot win him. Yeah, a bit, bit miserable, that. Um... Alec Dawes playing where he's four out of four, five out of five. Well, on a Monday, I'm uh, I lost the frame actually. It was a bit annoying to Grover, believe it or not. Wow. Yeah, I know. I haven't made my Monday debut yet in the winter. I'm still living off the summer, the 19 out of 19. Yeah. First time I've ever been through the card, despite the fact there was a bit of a controversy in the final. But oh yeah, you cheated in that frame, didn't you? Well, apparently. Yeah. I'm okay. quite an honest player, but I think it was tight, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very honest player. Had a little, uh, had a little cheat, had a little cheat there. Obviously, playing the final at your your home venue helped. I was quite happy to bow to your judgment behind <laughs> the ball, but <laughs> the captains decided to have a re rack. I thought it was quite close. Yeah, My only argument was I don't think I'd have potted the yellow if I'd have clipped the black. But you, sometimes you can when it's very tight. So, oh, nice. yeah, it was uh, it was very close. But anyway. How are you doing on a Wednesday then, Perry? I take it you haven't lost a frame in Division 4 yet? Or? I was very close on Wednesday. Was you? Yeah. There's a couple of sneaky little players in Division 4. It's hard though playing lower league players, isn't it? It's, it's, it's hard because by the time they've doubled one and fluked one, you think, oh, what's going on here? They're not all that bad. Some of them are. I don't play Division 4. Harley's just asked me if I play Division 4. I should be playing Division 4. I'm playing in Starfish Division 1, yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm 7 out of 8, and the one I lost, I accidentally put the black halfway through for Mr Pilcher, so he'll be happy about that. But yeah, Starfish, um, top of the league, we've got a strong team actually. 
got Mr. Davey playing well, Mr. Tough, and then there's Frankie and me and um, Alec and Welford. And if you think that Dean Rogers is is there as well, you know you've got a good little squad. Jeff Stellin, they got a good squad, and they Dave Shaw's team. Luke and Priesty always got a good team that lot. There you go, thirteen four. Do you want a little break, Perry, to eat your Yeah. Get oh Harley on the stream. Harley's gonna take over. Harley, do you wanna get on the stream? Yeah, come on. Perry wants to he's gonna move a seat to the right and have a little little break. Mind that lead in your feet, that's it. Okay, so it's thirteen four. Okay. Yeah. So Harley, you're fresh back from the tournament. Where was the tournament? Up in Mansfield, near Mansfield, Nottingham. Mansfield, that was it, yeah. And you've done really well, didn't you? I got to the final of the under-15 singles. I got beat by Liam Griffiths, 5-3. Had a chance at 3-2, but... It's good to get to the final, though. Yeah. And what about the team? How did they go on? We won the team event. Yeah, so... What age, ri what age range is the team? Under-15 under still. Under-15s? Yeah. I Wow. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, that's good good performance. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how we played. You're playing well recently. You stuffed me the other week. <laughs> no problem at all. And uh Yeah, so how do you see this going? Frank's it's getting away from Frank, isn't it? Yeah. He's got to focus a bit. I think half of Frank's problem is he can't stop drinking. Well, it does happen. Yeah. Yeah. He does play well after a few beers sometimes, though. Do you know what time he's been down here since? Like, I don't. I walked in at five, and he'd had a couple by then, and a warm-up. But uh, I'll tell you a funny story. At Selsey, I saw him one morning at 11 o'clock in the morning, and I said to him, how are you doing? Is the bar open? And he'd had four pints by 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I thought, Christ. And then I saw him again about midnight the same day, and he was playing a singles match against someone really good. I think it was, um, might have been Adam Brown. And he played at midnight, and he'd had about 21 pints, you know, during the whole day. And he was playing really well. Yeah. My dad's a bit like, like, last, the Saturday before, like, last week on Saturday, my dad was drinking all throughout the night, and then the second tournament, he won it. He split yeah. it with Matty. I know, he didn't even fancy playing the second one. He felt, he didn't feel his chances were any good. He must have played well. Yeah. Because that's your dad through and through. Yeah. He's, he's capable of potting balls off the clouds. Yeah. But he does like a drink. Same as Frank. I like a drink as well. But. Ooh, Frank's going for... I think Frank really... He's trying to make something happen, but... Yeah. Nothing's really happening No, for he's trying to make things happen, and it's quickly going wrong. But Rob's uh, only halfway there. Problem is, as Perry said, I can't see it changing at the moment. Frank's uh, struggling a lot, and Rob's yeah. got confidence. So, how come you're not playing in your dad's team then this w this winter? Oh, Jav's he being an idiot. He's playing for a son, and you're playing. Where are you playing? No, I'm playing down here with Noel. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You're playing yeah. for yeah, I know. My dad, um, Javid's being an idiot, basically. Why? What's he done? Oh, he's saying he don't want me playing in his team. I don't know why. He don't know. What was his reason? He didn't say any. He's he probably listening on the stream. Jeff, you're being called out. What have you done, Jeff? Apparently, I'm going to a bad loser or something. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> I'm a bad loser. Player's a bad loser. Every, uh, every good player's a bad loser, but. Yeah, but as long as you're winning frames. Mm. You ain't got to worry about it, have you? you got to get... Um, oh you'll be alright. It all mm. comes with maturity. Everyone gets stroppy when they lose. I do. I still do at the age of 45. This shot pretty much for a 14-4 lead. Yeah. And the thing is, it's just a straight roll into the middle. Yeah. It's nothing difficult to do. You haven't got to do nothing with the white, just roll it in. This is going to hurt Frank as well. 
Yeah, he's nailed it. I think one thing that's like Rob's really focused on the match, whereas Frank, he's just sat there talking to people, taking yeah. it as a bit of a joke, really. Yeah, and like you say, he's not playing well and he's had a few beers. It's hard to watch at the moment because I'm a good mate with Frank. He plays in my Monday and Wednesday team. He's actually my doubles partner this winter. If he plays like this, blooming hell, you have no chance in the doubles. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I'll have to play doubles with Darren Player or Perry. Oh my god, I'd have to kill myself. <laughs> right, so, it's so the problem is it was five frame difference at the break and now it's just gone to ten. He so hasn't he's even Frank he's lost hasn't all won five. a frame. Yet. No, he's lost all five since the break. It was five difference at the break and he's lost all five. You've split well in. Yeah. I don't know if that red goes past the yellow in the top left. Yeah, if it does, it's game over. In fact, I think it does. If and it doesn't matter because it's open table, so you could actually play it off the yellow. You could clip the if you clip the yellow yeah. on the way through. As long as the red goes in. Oh, you think he's playing the plan? Okay, well he's just going to make sure he's red then. No, he's cutting this one in the middle. No, that's not the right shot. Okay, he's got it, but you oh. know, now he's covered. Now he's covered the pocket and all that. He's it's okay though, because you can just roll this in the green pocket. Yeah. And then have that one down the rails. Yeah, play the this one into the green pocket, then play. Th play the one into the yellow pocket. Yeah, play the one into the yellow pocket, then play probably play the one long into this bottom right hand pocket, and then the one over the pocket, then the black. Yeah, definitely. Because the good news is the black's covered. Yeah. Rob can't put the black. Ooh, he's played it. Not now, sure. oh, I'm not sure I'd have done that because position now is to get onto that t one on the top left. Yeah, and I really? think he's left the in off in the middle, has he? Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if this goes in off the yellow. Anyway, well I must have a quick toilet break. I'll be back in one minute. You keep the viewers entertained. Well, he's covered the pocket there, but I think that yellow can just squeeze and cover the pocket back if he gets a chance to it. Do it, but he's in a little bit of trouble here now, Rob. That's a pretty good shot there from Frank. I'm not sure if this one goes. He's playing it, and it's going. This one, he's got to make sure he holds that white ball inside the gap to make sure that red goes into the yellow pocket. I don't think he has. He hasn't, it's total. He snookered on that ball. If this was me, yeah, that's the shot I'd be playing that Frank's looking at now. Trying to come off the top cushion with a little bit of left hand side, flick the red out, but at the same time, well, at the same time, yeah, getting the red out into the middle of the table, leaving Robber clearance, knowing that the black he has to cannon into the black if he wants to clear the whole table. However, he could be open to a snooker depending on where this red goes.
Well, they all go apart from the black. So, don't know. So, what's happened while well, I've been away? I see Frank's got. Frank covered the top right hand bag, but mm. <laughs> Rob got it away. I mean, Rob um just played down into this bottom right, but then he Frank potted a ball and didn't get position on the one in the top left, so he's had to just cannon it out and hope they don't cannon the black and clear them. Rob's got to get two shots so that he can pot the red by the black. Yeah. That's all he's got to do. Either that or, yeah, or either that or he plays a cannon on the red, but that mm. would be an aggressive shot. Yeah, it would be a bit risky. If he can tuck up Frank and get two shots, but... He might play that now. Nah, nah, probably not. Actually. Not yet. He might do it, but I'm not sure. He's looking to play your shot. He's looking to split it. That would yeah. be aggressive. Eh? I think he's going to play this and then just stun it down the whole side of the table. No, yeah, I think he's looking just to stun this in with a bit of bottom left. Now what, the one into the yellow bag? Uh, yeah, the one into the yellow bag. A bit, little bit bottom left. And right down the rails. Yeah. You can afford to do it as well. 14-4 up. You might as well go for it. Ah, he's missed it. He's missed it. And that could maybe give Frank a little bit of... Oh, that's put Frank favourite for this room at least. Yeah, because he hasn't even got an easy safety. He's going for the pot, I think. He's just about he short, is he? Well, Ooh. I'll tell you what. That's a good shot. Yeah, but Frank hasn't got a panic here because of the, he can play a safety. There yeah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Man. Yeah. There you go. Frank will play the reducer. And now... He, he might only reduce the deficit to nine frames. He needs to get he needs to get moving pretty quick. Yeah. He needs this to turn into something like 18, 14. Which is easily doable with a player from... With a player Frank's class. You know. There you go, and that should be good night. Just yeah. screw this back a couple of inches. Drop that one in the bottom right, and yeah. then the black in the bottom left. That's perfect. Oh, not quite, but you, you won't miss this. Yeah, you're just 100% on the pot, because the black's easy from anywhere. There, there we, we go. go. He gets his first one since the break. Yeah, and this might be uh, good for him. Might just uh, get his head focused. Yes, Frank. Neutral commentators here. <laughs> Giving it the old yes, Frank. Rob's checking the table. Yeah, you got it that time, but mm. a bit late now. Come on then, Frank. So Leroy's in the building. Perry's smashing up player. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I'm not surprised. Player shit and Perry's not, so. <laughs> Did you see his match against Hewitt? No, I didn't see it. Jesus. Dare they I were all saying used. that Blair was going to win. I said to him, I said to you that afternoon, I said he's in yeah. trouble. That Hewitt's in in the A team, top six or seven in the stats. You don't get there by fluke. And people were saying, you know, Matt, he was saying, and players were saying, stats don't mean nothing. But I'm telling you, if you're in the top ten in the men's A stats, you've got to be half decent. Mm. It's and not easy. You also look at his recent money match with um, Pewey. Yes, he beat him and quite comfortably. Yeah, but, but Pewey he didn't, didn't turn play up. Exactly. Player didn't perform exactly. Thank you. Particularly well. He didn't play particularly well. Yeah, exactly. And he didn't. He didn't have to play well. Richie was a bit nervous and didn't play well. Richie's a lot better than that, but he didn't play very well. Here's Mr. Yeah. Sam on my left. Hello, mate. We're yeah. live on the screen. Stream, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he didn't. Yeah, he didn't really turn up. But um, yeah, that Michael Hewitt. I saw. It, I've seen him play against us in the A team, and he's. Um, He's a good talent. He likes to go for his shots as oh, well. He does. He? he goes for it. He's very positive. 
that's why I thought he'd win because player players quite a good natural player, but he can if the pressure's on, he can he can easily collapse. He has come on a lot since over the last few years. Good player, yeah, yeah, but he c he's still got those collapses in him when the pressure's on, but. Um, you see, that's what Rob was doing against me that he hasn't been doing tonight. Um, a few misses starting to creep into his game. This could yeah, change things. That's the thing when you get a massive lead. I, I had a massive lead against Rob, and I, I just got a bit casual and yeah, he, came and he back. fought back a little bit. Yeah, and then I had to go again. But it's it, he wasn't missing those balls earlier. A little bit of a chance here, not a massive chance, but a little chance here for Frank. Yeah, depends. Oh, and this. Oh no, maybe it is a big chance because this yeah, yellow ball next to the red, it goes into this bottom left-hand pocket. That's right. So if he just drops this in, <sighs> oh, he's missed it by far. Wow. Luckily, he's tied up the red. You see those sort of mistakes you can't make. No. <coughs> but luckily for him, there's nothing easy. No, no easy finish for reds. So. No. Well, he's got that. He's got that, but... Uh, oh, has he got a chance to make just a can on them here? Or will he just put over the pocket wall? No, he wouldn't put it over the pocket, but... Much snooker, maybe. Mm, Rob's quite a tactical, sort of world rules type player. He might just play... Oh, he's playing the cannon. Yeah. You know, do you know why? Because he's ten frames in front, or whatever it is. Nine frames in front. It's not worked out great for him, but... No, but what he can do is just move the red and leave the white on that side cushion there. Don't leave Frank anything much. Is he being more positive? Is he going for it? He is. Yeah, it's a good shot. You see, you can be positive when you're nine frames in front. I tell you, if that le red goes into the left middle, this yeah. is a great chance. Well, I think it might do. I can't see on the screen, but I think it might do. And if it doesn't, you can get into it in a minute. He's dead straight on this red, so he, he could That's just good. That's stun good, yeah. it in and then just get on that one into the left middle. Yeah, just hold this white exactly where the red is. On this cloth, though, you play a stun shot and it comes back about three inches. Mm. But luckily, it's still be on it. He's played it well. Confident. Yeah, it's a yeah. good shot. Though. So that must go in the middle. And then that's good night. That'll be 15-5, which is starting to get very serious. He's bridging, but... He has to screw back as well. It's not an easy shot. Yeah, but on this cloth, you can just dig down a little bit and it'll come back two inches. It'll be fine. He's top he can't be topping it through. It must go in the middle. Yeah, it does. It goes in the middle. It doesn't look like it on, on the, the screen. screen no. Yeah, but it, it must do. No, is he looking at a double? No, he's, it flies in. Flies in, I think. It's tight, but it goes. Yes. And, there, yeah. and there you go. So we've got 15 5, and this is now he getting. He restores his 10 frame lead. Yeah, this is getting very serious for Frank now. He needs to really knuckle down now. Get um, a grip. When's the next break? They had a they had a break at what? Um, what was the breaks? Um, nine yeah, five. Thirteen frames. So they have another one in another six frames time. I think it was nine five. Was it? That was fourteen. Um, I think it was nine four. Was oh it? yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's thirteen. So they're gonna have a break at twenty six. So another six frames. Wow. Starting to get very serious for Frank. Yeah, he needs to probably he needs to win a couple on the spin here and just build some confidence and. It's just purely nerves because. He's not playing like he does on a Wednesday night. He normally plays very well. Hope he'll be hoping for a break like last time. Hope he's not drunk too much because he's been knocking the pints back. He's just got another one. Yeah, you see, to me that's not a good idea. I like a few beers, but when I went to play my money match against Rob, I had to cut down to like two. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do that because I know... He might do it if it was only his own money, but it's other people's money he's also throwing away most if he of it starts is. drinking. Yeah, most of it is other people's. And he's lost the white ball there a bit. Doesn't go. It might even be touching ball. I'm looking on the screen. Is it touching the yellow? 
It looks like it is on the stream, or close to, but obviously you can't tell. Either way, it's a safety shot because he can't put yeah. anything. No, it's not touching, but it's obviously a safety shot. Didn't touch the cushion. There you Ooh, go. Oh, wow. That's not good. That's given Rob a chance, and a chance here then. Every single yellow goes. Hmm. Frank's mo moaning about his luck, but unfortunately, I think the luck's been quite even. Yeah. Rob's played quite well. Frank's missed a few sitters. I think the drink's starting to kick in now a bit. Hmm. Let's hope he make a. G let's hope he makes a game of it. Yeah, hopefully it will be Cause fairly close. Because yeah, there's ten frames now. You don't. We don't. Wanna, you don't want to lose by like bucket loads like f t 15 frames or something you don't want to lose 25 7 or something yeah but like we keep saying not it doesn't seem like it's about to change frank's not changing that's anything what I mean. it's just there's nothing that's changed i think he, i think they need a he needs a break yeah definitely i think you should go and get some fresh air for 10 minutes and have a break if i was frank i think i'd just be going to the toilet sitting in there for a few minutes maybe stop rob's Confidence, just a bit, maybe yeah. just. Yeah. He, he he has done well, Rob. But the balls have gone well for him as well. I mean, he's just had lots of tappings. Yeah. Well, Frank's look, making silly mistakes. Yeah, Rob's Rob's just got tappings, but he's made them look easy. And he's dead confident now. I can't see how it's going to change. Just can't see how it's going to change. Frank's too, too, I don't know what he is, whether he's nervous or a bit, just not playing well. It's just going really badly. Hello? Hello. Hello? So here we go, Rob's gone for the cut break. He's made a ball, it's a bit messy on the left hand side. There's a red and a yellow and another yellow, a bit messy. Yeah, if he is to dish these, it will be quite a good dish. He needs to play the can. I suppose if he goes red, he does have that red on the left hand side that goes into that pocket, that he could just play a little cannon to bring the other red. Mm. I think he'll go yellows, to be honest. Yeah. Purely because the, the yellows on the left will plant down towards the pocket and cover it. I think the yellow by the black goes now. And if it doesn't, you've got a choice of the other two. Reds just looks a lot more work. A pot yellow, be yellows. You could even drop this one in by the black spot into the bottom left and then come down for the one on the cushion and just cover the bag. So that sets up the four ball, four ball plant for later. Yeah, I th I'm going to go and see how badly players getting beaten by Yeah, Perry. go and find out what's happening. And I'll be back in as long as David don't steal my... Where is David? Is he here? Is he? Just hiding there. Oh, OK. Right. We'll get David in the commentary box. He's always good for a laugh. Take your headphones off before you go. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> so, Frankel is in a bit of trouble here. There's a lot of work to do. Rob's playing confidently, playing quite well. Frankel's not playing very well, but that could change. He 
He's obviously got a massive headache with the red on the on the left cush cushion. Is he looking at going into it now? He is. How's your luck? Not very good, but can he can he drop the one in the bottom left and then there'll be a double on the red in a minute. The atmosphere in here is a little bit flat. There's a lot of Frankie fans, so it's a little bit flat. But the uh, Rob fans are here. There's a few, quite a few Rob fans, and they're they're enjoying it. And uh, Rob seems to be enjoying himself. Now then, is he going to play this cushion first and go into the yellow? I think that would be the shot. Because when you're sixteen five up, you can you can risk these sort of things. It'll be bringing the reds out, yeah. But okay, he's playing the uh, percentage shot. You can't criticise him for that. That's fine. Yeah, so Frank's uh, obviously struggling a bit. I'm just joined by Lorraine. Hello. And uh, how are you, all right? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, good. So Frank's struggling a bit. Indeed. He's not been himself tonight. His but little nephews uh, are at home watching. They're all Lucas watching. Lucas and Logan. Hello. Fantastic. <laughs> Shout out to them. There you go, that's a better shot. Your uncle needs a kick up the bum. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He needs a kick up the arse. But uh, who else is watching then, Lorraine? Um, How many nephews has he got? Yeah, he's got... Is his niece watching? Lavinia watching today at home? With Lucas and Logan? No? Mark, their dad, is there. Supporting Frank. Quality. Shout out to them. Don't think he can put get the double. So, yeah, he just hasn't played his normal game so far. Rob's played quite well, but hopefully he can double this. No, it just doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So another frame <laughs> slips by. Rob's just got a roll in here. Not a problem. Come on in, Frank. Wow, that is uh, unbelievable. That is just unbelievable. Why are you playing it at that pace? I don't know. Well, you just got to roll that in. Unfortunately, Frank's out with a washing. So, you know, that just sums up the whole game. So, 
There we go, 17-5, and it's getting very, very serious for Frankel. So, here we are, it's 17.5. Frank's just had a nice break. I'm joined by Bradley O'Reilly. How are you doing, Brad? Yeah, not bad, mate, you? Yeah, cool, yeah, not too bad. Frank's struggling, mate, tonight. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And he's just put the red safe as well on the left middle there. Can you see the screen, Brad? Yeah, you can have a look at the screen as well. <sighs> he's going to play it now. Does it go in the top bag, does it? In the yellow yeah. pocket, he's having a look at it. Looks like it. Not easy, though. Man of your class, though, Tone. I'm sure you can well, pop that. Oh, yeah, but I'm not Frank. Let's <laughs> have a look. Uh, that just sums up the night. He's, he's rattled it. He's been doing this all night. Yeah. He's rattled it. He needs um, he needs to win a few frames pretty quick. Here's AJ back in, uh, back in the building. But, yeah, he needs to win a few frames quick, Brad, because he's in big trouble. To really. be fair, give, you've got to give credit to Rob. Like. Yeah, he's played well. He's done the simple things well. He's uh, played a lot better than when he played me. And now yeah. he's got the angle on this one in the middle to... Uh, I, I would never have expected this score, if I'm honest with you. Not, I don't think anyone would. No. But he is, he is actually curing quite well tonight, Rob. He's played a good game. You can't knock him. You can see he's wanted it. There you go. Look, he's doing the simple things well. He's just rolling them in. All he's got to do is roll this in. Yeah, roll it in and roll the other one in the middle and roll the black in. It's three tappings. I'm joined, uh, AJ's back in the building. Hello, AJ. He's not got a mic yet. We'll mic him up in a minute. Looks like 18.5. Yeah, 18.5 is a lot of work to do for Frankel. Do you have any money on it? I didn't actually, Brad, no. I left it alone. Perry somehow managed to, to wiggle me in with 25, so... Obviously, I've, I've got it on Frank. Yeah. But it's good to see Rob playing well, to be fair. Hmm. And there we go, 18-5. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to go offline for a, a minute, minute or so. So see.